Good evening. How's everyone doing? Welcome to Train Some TV. Um, obviously, it's not so, such of a surprise now because um, it's sort of got announced. Um, but as you can see ahead of me, there's a mound of sand. Um, and if you look to the right, there's a tramway. Obviously, it sort of gives it away what it is, and the title does sort of now reflect. So, who, who we got in? Uh, Hassan. Jake, Mark, CK, Joe, hello, um, Kev, how do? Um, Dan, uh, and anyone else that's in here now, hello and welcome. So, over the past year and a couple of months, excellent. I've been slowly working away on this Blackpool and Fleetwood tramway. Um, I am <laughs> five minutes early. <laughs> Cheers for the whole CK. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a cough still. Um, yeah, so the past 18 months I've been working away with this um, route. Now, there's been speculation that it was coming. I've had to keep quiet every time it gets mentioned. Um, when Just Trains came to Blackpool to um, do some recording. Um, everyone will have seen the live feed, most likely, of uh, someone driving. That was me. <laughs> um, Callum, thank you very much for the resub, mate. So, uh, yeah, in March this year, just trains come down. Um, it's been in the in the planning f way before, but we finally got some. Uh, we got recordings and all sorts um, of the tram. The tram itself will be coming um, with the route. Um, at the minute, I've got nothing on that to show, but it, the modern flexity will be coming. What we've got at the minute is some free wares. That we can drive. We've got a freeway looking flexi, and we've got some double decker trams and open boats, which are, are actually available on UK Train Sim. Um, so, basically, what, what you're going to be getting at the minute is you're going to get the full 11 miles Stargate to Fleetwood. Um, no North Station extension at the minute because it's not finished, and I don't know how it's going to finish up. Um, but, ideas probably will be to add it in down the line as I'd like to. So when I've got all the gradients which come available, I'll be adding that in somewhere. Um, myself and Callum, so Callum one one two two three three, who uh, it's just popped up with a little face. You'll see he's the uh, the gentleman that's working with me on this. So Callum is my asset developer on this, um, who's been painstakingly building me loads of different models um, to go along the route. Just trains working also with me um, doing me some assets alongside so as what we're going to do at the minute we're going to have a, a mooch down the route how, how it's shaping up so far anyone who's got any questions please do ask and I will do my best to help you out at the minute you'll see gaps down the um, on the promenade which are due to waiting assets such as hotels attractions and such but most of the housework is in place Big buildings such as the depot shed down at Stargate ain't in there just as yet. <laughs> Gentlemen, of course you are. <coughs> KT UK, hello, how are you doing? Arton, is it SA? I hope I said that right. <coughs> hello and welcome. Anyone else that hasn't said hello yet? Hello and welcome. So, we're gonna we're gonna start off here and we're gonna head down slowly up uh, the route. We'll be doing some um, route building as well, and we're going to have a little drive along the route. I did have a scenario, but it isn't quite finished, and there's a few issues on the track side that I need to fix before I can do a scenario. I've not actually driven the route properly yet. Too busy building it. So, as you can see at the minute, seawall, it's partly in. We're still waiting on the other parts of the assets uh, from Callum to finish off the lower seawall. And then we can get the uh, the lofts in place and finish all this. Seawall's probably the, the one bit I'm not looking forward to doing. As you'll see further up the line. At the minute it's not too bad. Hopefully this is recognisable to people that have uh, been to Blackpool and travelled on the trams. There's another asset from Callum. So these are the, uh, the walkway um, sections for crossings. Callum's done the, the lofts for the seawall as well. The funky lamps that you'll see on the higher seawall walk we've got a few hotels in up to now um, but that will 
come down the line when we get loads of uh, assets to add in place, which will soon close these gaps up. You even get a little bit of Blackpool South to drive. It's only Squires Gate to the Blackpool South station. It's just a little extra if anyone wants to do that and drive it. So, at the minute, we're up to the Pleasure Beach area at the minute. We have <coughs> the land where Pleasure Beach will go. Excellent. Um, to some extent, there will be a good amount of uh, Pleasure Beach models in here, so such as the big one and other roller coasters, as you can see. Um, the big blue hotel is going to be going in here also. As you can see, Blackpool South uh, line again, Pleasure Beach Station. So you, you can actually see this from the tramway, so that's why I did it in. Because occasionally when you stop at the platform, there's a platform. Platforms aren't in yet, but the markers are in place. I've just Excellent. received the first platform tonight, so later on I will be placing some of these platforms in. And as I say, there's one here, and you can see the south line, so that's really why I've added it in. Julie Bean, thank you for the host. Uh, Jake, thank you for the Excellent. host. And Dan, crazy Dan, thank you. Yes, um, on here also, as CK has mentioned, there is uh, there's a disco ball which goes here, here. Um, these will come when the uh, the walls added up, and along with the other little monuments, there's all sorts. There's about seven or eight different monuments um, on this section of the wall, benches and such like that, big fancy benches and submarines and stuff like that. <coughs> these will all be added in. It's uh, it's never going process. We've only literally just got the new track. So as you can see, these tracks have been specially created. So we've got crossing tracks. Um, if you've ever been here, you'll see, you'll notice that the, the crossings are red paved. I've been working on the route train some guy um, since it started off in September last year, um, where I began sourcing track gradient profiles. That was a nightmare. I work on the modern trams, as a lot of you know. I drive the, the flexi trams. So uh, no one there had any track gradients, believe it or not. So. A lot of emails. Eventually, um, going through the council, they had nothing, even though it's council owned. Um, I managed to keep, uh, catch up with a load of gradient profiles in the Heritage Tramway Department. So I managed to source a load off there and get images and of them to put together and stitch them together. I have got gradient profiles now. There is actually gradients in the route. This is uh, it goes down uh, one in nine hundred, something like that. Down nine hundred of a gradient a section down from the Pleasure Beach. At the minute, it's, it's all downhill. Not literally, <laughs> but it is downhill in track. Um, so as we move along, we come up to South Beach. So there's there's fancy walls that go in here eventually, um, like for the entrance of the car park. Um, there's a massive wind organ that you might have noticed over here if you've ever been here and such like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Signals at the minute. Yes, these are placeholders. They're all these are going to be here anyway. Um, but they're going to be sunk under the ground. This is basically just so that any AI won't crash and collide. Um, but alongside proper tram signals for the, this route will be made and put in, which will work with these. These are just, as I say, just to stop AI from colliding when you're making scenarios. Because if I don't have any signals, they'll just keep going into another tram eventually. <laughs> um, Blackpool Tower is going to be added. At the minute, we haven't got that. That's on the just train side. Um, Along with such like the Blackpool uh, Pleasure Beach and stuff like that, big assets are coming from just trains. Um, we've got excellent. The Sandcastle. This is one of, another one of Callum's. Uh, it's the Sandcastle and the Grosvenor Casino. So we've had to obviously use different names for copyright. So we've called the Groveller Casino. <laughs> Mark, thank you for the host, buddy. Um, we'll call this Water Park, but it's the uh, it's virtually the same building slides out on the front. Now we've also added in um, the heritage operation of sides. Um, so we've got the heritage tram stops um, so you can do the old tram services run up here. The route set really from 2012 onwards um, from when the tramway upgrade be, uh, took place. Um, so anything between here, there and now with a few variations of different buildings because some things have been and gone since I've started researching the route. Um, new buildings have occurred and some have been knocked down. There's new hotels that have been built so some of them won't appear but some will. But it's it's a it's a 2012 to the present route. We've also got the um, Karting Raceway. Karting 2000 this is called. 
Not sure if we're going to get some go karts going around here yet, but we'll see. We might just get a little go kart asset that we can just place him. <coughs> so, other buildings will be uh, such as the Velvet Coaster um, Weatherspoon style pub, which is somewhere around here, which will be added in as well. The piers, once again, they will be here down the line. Um, just waiting on just trains to get these out. Certainly, Mark, we'll have to do that. That bit, me in the background, always losing. <laughs> That's a sore story. Never won one yet, ever. So, moving on, we're around the South Pier area at the moment. All these gaps now, as you'll see, are the hotel areas. So once the hotels start coming in, these gaps will be closed up and it'll uh, it'll look a lot more finished. Um, once again, houses are done more or less. There's a few little bits just need to niggle in and terrain paint, that's the main thing. Terrain paint will come at the end to finish the, uh, the ground off. So, moving along. This is the St. Chad's uh, Road area here. So you've got this big massive St. Chad's and Lindine Hotels, which are, I also believe are coming from just trains. So that's the big blue hotel you'll see on the front, the, big, the, the old old style hotels. <coughs> Next up, we, we finally reached Manchester Square. So, as you can see, there's a spur off here. This heads down to the um, old heritage shed. Manchester um, Square's bar is named as Mank Bar. We've even added the old shed in. The the old bus depot will be in. Everything like that. Now the in the interesting but awkward side of things is this shed. As you can see, there's a lot there's a lot of track, and in such a small space, it can uh, cause issues. As you can see, the, the point work at the minute, we've not managed to get it rendered correctly. It all works. There is all points linking, so you can actually change all the tracks and it would work as proper. But with it being such a short stretch and the way that the track renders it, as you can see, there's one point set rendered at the minute, but I need to work on it. It's still a work in progress. But it works. So if I can get it rendered properly, that is what I want. <laughs> If not, we're going to have to improvise somehow and get it working, but all the pits are in. I'm quite impressed with this. Cal Callum, this is one of the Callum's earlier models for the route. It's got all the stairs. I thought it was going to be a nightmare laying the track for this, but the, the track was quite easy to do. We managed to get on an offset as well, so it all laid in really, really easy. And linked up. I don't think it'll be able to render, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying different ways and working with it. I might have, there's other methods I can do to try and get it to render, but at the minute it, it's going to be staying like this, which is workable. As the main route really, it's focusing on the um, modern side of things, and the modern trams don't actually run down this way. This is mainly just for the um, <coughs> heritage trams, um, where we have the freeware models. Um, the speed on this bend, I believe, I think it's it used to be a mile an hour. They changed, obviously, to we're in kilometres an hour. I think it used to be about seven or eight mile an hour around this curve, whatever that equivalents to in um, kilometre. Heavily work in progress, obviously, even with the pavements and stuff. It's not been tidied up yet. This was an early, early working area as did. It'll all be tidied up with pavements and of such. As you can see here, we've got pavement lofts. Even we've managed to train. I don't think this works yet. if I go into edit mode I've got a way where there uh, so we've got a way to stop the traffic it's simply putting in an old level crossing sink it under the ground and all the traffic halts so that you can actually drive your trams out um, this is going to be the method with all tram crossings up the route but there will be proper signals to protect the air as well so it'll, it'll operate as it would do it took me ages to figure a method of doing this out, and I just thought, well, let's try level crossing to see if it works. And it works. <laughs> so it's, it's a clever way of doing it without having to create a, a new type of asset. Um, last night, I've tried something new. Now, I've not done this before, and obviously, route building, such as done Northern Lines and Arrogate Loop, and they've even implemented this on there, but last night I was um, changing track settings. 
so unevenness so if I touch the track you can see the track uh, they call it unevenness is set to 24 which I use on my northern lines and arrogate route now if you go over a set of points if you've ever been on the Blackpool trams and you go over the points you'll notice that the tram rattles around a lot this is just the way the points have been built if I highlight it's actually 35 so I've not tested this yet I'm hoping when you roll over the points it should rattle the tram a bit more so later on when we do a drive we should see that work I might need to change the settings a little bit just to make it a bit more noticeable I've just guessed at these uh, values at the minute as you'll see the track's still in work in progress at the minute so there's there are some gaps in the sides Callum's still working on this just to add the sides on the rendered points <coughs> excuse me Oh, you've done it on Aylesby. I've not noticed that, Mark. Excellent. Oh, I'm glad it'll work then. I, I found the idea on, um, what do you call it, the Great Eastern Main Line on the workshop, and it did it on there. I just wanted to just notice a little bit of a bump. Um, train some guy, the, I noticed your question before, I do apologise for answering. Um, it will be on just trains, um, this route, when it's finished, and the tramway itself is 11 miles. It takes about an hour to do an actual service each way even for a short amount of time but that's down to the speed so it's 30 kilometers down the main tarmac section till we hit up down towards the cabin area uh, it's a bit further actually when we hit to the cabin it goes into the concrete reserve track so that's where you, you open up and it's 50 kilometers so it's a, it's a nice run oh, we've also got the Blackpool Football Club and now there's too many football people in here I know it's a uh, it's network rail versus drivers <laughs> just as a little uh, Easter egg sort of thing. That's another one of the uh, the customs that have been added into the route. Uh, so as we move into the town centre area, this is the central pier area at the minute. Once again, it's very very sparse in Blackpool. Once we move away you'll start seeing a lot of uh, scenery. This is just down to waiting for shops and hotels and such. And piers, obviously. So we are, this is central pier area. And as you see, we're at Coral Island. <laughs> no, Northern drivers won't turn up. <laughs> I know, I put too many players. I need to remove some. Thank you, Gav. Elton, hello. How are you doing, mate? Welcome. Hang on a moment. Uh, it's, a, yeah, it's, a, it's a drivers versus uh, workers derby. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we've got the Coral Island here. This is an in. I, li I like this. Callum actually sculpted that skull all by hand. Really, really impressed. Obviously, we've had to change the name with uh, copyright and all that, so we've, we've called it the island. <laughs> but it's the same shape, It's it does what it does. It's even got the same skull on the roof. It's a nice asset. Obviously, next up will be the Blackpool Tower. This is where the tower sits, so that will be in there eventually. Oh, I've been there many a time, spent many many a pounds and pence on the old 2P machines. Obviously being local. So as we head up, once again we've got more special uh, tracks. Uh, so if, in certain crossings, such as this one here, we have the red tarmac, and then it's got a, a, a cobble effect. Now it makes me laugh this, when you sit at the tram stop here, we sit here and in real life you see people that actually walk with the prams and everything over the cobbles and not on the tarmac. It's, co it's comical. But they'll, they'd rather struggle than go over the smooth tarmac. <laughs> it's mad. We've also got custom bus shelters. These will all have uh, decals for bus stops when I place them in. Am I free at 8ish on Saturday morning? I, um, I'm at work. And I'm on earlies. So if you're if you're here, Dan, you might see me. <laughs> <coughs> it's all it's all Callum's handy work. All this track, um, it, it, the tracks one of the, the later things that's come in. The, we use just trains track as a placeholder and some freeware stuff until we manage to get the proper stuff. And uh, I, I'm, I love the detail in it, like the railhead and the rust and the shine on it. Absolutely beautiful track. Um, it, we haven't got the new section in Elton at the minute, as I said, I, you'll miss this, but um, at the minute, with it not being complete, 
it's not in. I plan to do do it eventually. Um, once we get proper gradients and stuff like that for it, we've been. I don't even know how the the full section is going to end up yet. Some of the tracks in place, but it's not finished. There's a lot of gaps in it yet. They're currently actually working, digging up uh, this road here. So all this is dug up at the minute. This road's actually getting closed off next week for them to start connecting up to points here. I need to add some points in anyway, where it would go. Um, Black Fives, I've seen them on the uh, timetable, but I've, I think I'll miss the morning and it'll be dark at night. So I might not see it. I'll have to wait and see. I don't know. I know I'm working until uh, mid-afternoon. Once again, we've got heritage platforms. Now, the way we've done that is a sunk platform with an invisible, well, with a, a platform off it so that you, you can actually do service for heritage trams. Please do. Also, guys, now Dan's just mentioned YouTube, I'm actually recording this and it will go onto YouTube, so um, if anyone wants to watch back and see extra stuff that they might have missed out on, anyone that hasn't seen it, all of it and joining late, you can watch this later on. And I sh I'm going to hopefully get it uploaded to Twitch so it actually stays on my Twitch because otherwise it will only be on there for a number of days until another video wipes it out. So you will be able to watch back on this. Once again we've got proper shelters. We've, you can actually see the detail in the, the actual tram stop. I think this was one of last year's timetables. You can actually see the pictures on it. And read most of the dates and info. At the minute, these are the actual platforms that only work until you add the new ones in later. I was impressed how I found that and how well it's got, uh, turned out. <coughs> um, the plans for um, stock train sim guy, we are planning, well, it will be happening, it's going to be the modern flexity tram that's coming for the route. Um, these are just freeware trams, so you, there will be scenarios, I will make extra scenarios where you can do stuff with the um, the heritage trams and um, we've got double deckers and boats I'm hoping that the this route will spring up a lot of new stock people might end up building new trams and stuff it would be nice to see if we can get some of the models down down the line there's a lot of possibilities that you can do with this, it opens a lot of new areas we've been a route and type of route that's never been done before the detail that needs putting into it because it's a slow route, you need to do a lot more. Which you'll see later on down the line when you see what I've been doing. Bogey boy, hello. How are we doing? Welcome. Um, so moving on, we're at the North Pier now. So once again, Pier will be in here, <coughs> along with sea walls. But you can actually see there's some sea walls up here, which you can see how awkward they are in a second. Cenotaph. This is the uh, the war memorial. Um, not fully finished yet. Um, it needs a different texture as the, uh, the stones aren't quite correct at the minute. The Chilton Spotters it is, it's a brand new track. Um, it's not just a textured old model, it's a brand new model um, with a custom texture where I've been out and actually taken photos of all these tracks. And then we've uh, used the textures from the images to put on top which makes the effect you'll see today. You'll see that we've got a new um, sleeper track as well. We're not even using the existing stuff. We've used all new track throughout, which is nice to see. So here's where the new tramway will go. Blackpool North is in, um, but I need to swap the tracks over yet. And there's a, I need to wait for something to change before I can do this because it won't allow me to change it yet. And um, we need to change something in the blueprint. This is just where we put the new tracks in, which these were just train tracks, but they've been removed, so we just need to swap them. But you, you get a little run of the Blackpool North line just to, as a little extra as well. The old yards, not to that late, and it goes up to. As you can see now, the, the detail starts coming in more with the houses. All these will have um, garden fences most of the way through as well, to an extent. I'm, I'm actually uh, thinking poppy reefs to put around it because there is poppy reefs. Comedy carpet will be added. Not sure how we're going to do that yet. I'm, I'm thinking of having to go out and get. A, as many of the quotes as possible but I don't think um, we can get everything into it but I'm gonna do my best to get as many of the quotes in there as possible to some extent it will it will be there 
No problem, Dan. I'll catch you in a bit, buddy. Now, there is a, there, what I did a, a while ago was I worked on the freeware version of this Blackpool Tramway. And I tried uh, bringing it to the modern standard, but I couldn't do anything with it. Simply down to the uh, the gradients weren't correct. Um, it would have needed a full start off, so I thought I might as well just start it from scratch and give it justice. And get as many... Um, what's the word? Not assets. Um, attractions as possible in there. I shall see further down the line. There's a few more appearing in a minute. Even stuff like these bollards. These are here in real life. We've got decals for beware of trams and up here. It's not, they, don't, they need to put it back up. Since I changed the track, it's not fully uh, been fixed yet. We've got central reservation boxes and all that. The freeware one, I think it got took down a long time ago. Um, I've not seen it for a good while. I, I had it on my PC, but I've lost it since the reinstall. Simply down to the fact now, because I drive it, I'm, I'm more like, I'm, that detail's not in it, and this needs adding in that. So we're here, we've got the first of the sea walls. It's a number of different assets uh, and lofts. So we've got the lower sea wall. We've got these where there is a ramp in them, but just sort of got the opening for them. You can't actually see the ramp anyway. In there, which should take you down to the lower prom. So there's a number of these along the route. We've even got the, uh, this is the Imperial, named the Sovereign. Once again, for reasons such as uh, copyright, we can't use proper names on buildings that are in um, use today, under the working names. But the, uh, the, the detail starts coming in from here, mainly now, which is uh, on the map, is here. About here, so the town centre sort of is there, apart from the hotels at the minute. Hopefully, there uh, will be a lot more of them in the next month or two. So this is Gin Square area now. The rest of the seawall will come, as I say, down the line. I'm just waiting for the, the lofts to come along, but it's all sort of laid out, ready to be. Uh, attached to the roads and the, well these are footpaths here obviously this is the road the illuminations would be here the the main back details in all houses bar a few exceptions where I'm going to get a few extra custom ones are in this is a golf course here which will have golf uh, terrain paint so moving on we have uh, this is the casino area so you've got Castle Casino. People will know the castle. Now then, um, people that have had um, the later Just Trains routes might have noticed a fence that appeared. And a few people mentioned in the stream of this fence, and this is where I had to keep my mouth shut and try not to say much. This is where the, this is the first asset Just Trains provided me. Um, to add into the route before the main stuff comes, which I wanted to like sort of lay out the, with the track. And this is the the start of the 50 kilometers uh, section where we, um, we we're more or less full speed up to Fleetwood. So, and this is begins with the the proper new concrete track that we've got. So, as you can see, Callum's been uh, working very hard on this new custom track for us, um, along with the concrete. With the detail in the uh, the sleepers, the 3D well the 3D style clips. Um, it's even got I think it's back to front at the minute. But I'm not sure if you need to get it changed around, but it's got actual name and stuff engraved in. <coughs> We're even having um, fish plates that I've got to manually add in. So if I if I switch to a fish plate, you'll see this. Um, illuminations. We aim to have some sort of illuminations in. Um, 
Another plan is maybe down the line have a separate route with an illumination section and maybe try and get an illuminated tram maybe. But there's nothing planned on that. It's just ideas I've got at the minute. Uh, if I can find this um, fish plate, if you're watching here, uh, fish plate, fish plate, fish plate, it's here somewhere. There we go. Right, so you can see the fish plate. So if I tab it over the track, I'll stick it about there. I've got to manually place this along the whole section. I've done some of it already. And as you go, without having any hits on the FPS, you can put a man. A manual you place fish plate in there and it's in. So it's, this is the process that I'm up to at the minute as well. It's all the finer details. That, until I get these big assets I'm doing all the finery at the minute and all the fencing which you'll see soon. We've got a wooden type and a concrete style. There's a, there is a few wooden sleepers on this route. Um, Graham hello how are you doing? Good to see you buddy. Um, Along with the illumination style again, I think we're going to have a few illuminations where we can attach them to lamp posts, um, mainly down here. I know it, on this section here you get your, your main tabards and the big displays up here. Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be any of them on this version. Um, as I say, I do plan maybe to do a second version where you can run alongside and change. If anyone remembered the MSTS version of the Block Tramway, there was two versions of that where you could have illuminations on a normal route. So, it's a plan. It's ideas to keep it feasible, and that you can't, we couldn't do it all in one. It would be here, would be here forever. But it's it's ideas I've got. So <coughs> we're coming up to uh, the. Uh, we just got this is Lava Avenue here. So coming down here to Cavendish Road, this is where the miners' home is. Um, that's another custom that's going to be coming down along with the the flats either side. Um, quite an iconic building, massive. This is how it turned into houses. Um, yeah, just trains are working on the uh, the modern side of the tram, but we've got nothing on that at the minute. Um, it's it's in the pipeline to come along with the it is coming with the route, but there's nothing made to show off at this uh, at this stage. There'll be more on that down the line. Um, yeah, I'm I'm excited to see that myself um, mainly because I drive it and I, I've shown them everything about it. Took them out. Um, so I took them out in I think it was March this year. I actually did it in my own spare time where luckily Blackpool Transport allowed me to take the tram out unpaid, blah blah blah, um, to do everything with sound recordings, all the, the side for scripting so they can see how the tram works. Um, so it was, a, it was a really good day. Um, main day we did a t one and a half sort of days um, with it. We didn't need it as much for the second day, we just did a little last run. But yeah, that's it. The uh, the Just Train video, You'll that, that, that was me driving. Um, I'm, I'm. I had to keep my mouth shut every time it was mentioned in this stream um, when just trains were making the tram route and they saw someone driving and I was like, because uh, people know I work here, I was like, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've heard something about it, just, but I had to keep it quiet. I've been, I've been itching to show this off for months and months and months. And I'm I'm pleased that Alex has allowed me to do this so early on. Because it, it hasn't really properly been announced, even though people knew something was coming. So, it's uh, it was quite a big thing to show it tonight. So we're moving on. We've got Bispam, Bispam Red Bank Road. This would be the end of the illuminations, and we've got one of the custom platform models in here. So this is quite an iconic platform. This is a a listed um, building as well. So it was kept when they upgraded the tramway, and they sort of refurbished it a little give it a bit of a facelift on the paint and that. Um, since I think last year someone bought this building, because it used to be an old painting room um, when they used to be on the old side of things. Um, crews used to come in here, have a break, pay in, etc. But it was left derelict from 2000 and something, I'm not sure what date it was, but now it's actually been renovated to some extent and it's now a cafe um, these windows these have little hatches where you can go and get a brew and hot dogs they're even making a, a, a bistro in this middle section which is nice to see um, but the, the main building is exactly how it is still well there's a substation in here as you can see there's a danger of death if you go in there platforms will be added in 
As I say, I've got the plat first platform off, which is going to go on some of the um, platforms. But I've not got the tarmac side at the minute. There's a few different types. There's a the resin and the asphalt types. Now, there's a lot of history with Blackpool's tramway. Um, it was the, the f one of the first tramways that was built, and it was built back in 1885, <coughs> and it was it ran between Cock Street and Dean Street, which was only a short section. Um, and also, at one stage in its life, it was two separate tramways with a lot of different routes spurring off. Used to have um, lines to Martin, Leighton, all the way through the town. But I think I think the last line shut down in the 60s, such like Beeching. It weren't Beeching, um, it was just the fact that the tramway was losing money, so they had to start shutting routes. But this tramway was the only one that kept running in England. Um, in the UK when all the tramways were getting phased out and it still runs today and it's on its um, 130 something year they've just had one of the birthday uh, weekends a couple of week, uh, a couple of months ago I think it's like 134 or something like that now um, <coughs> where they run a lot of heritage birthday weekends if anyone comes to Blackpool for the heritage trams you'll, they'll they do that in the September every year where they have like, as many of the operational cars they can in. Yeah, at 85 it opened up. Um, used, this this section of the route used to be the Fleetwood Tramway Company where the Blackpool Company used to end at Gin Square. So if you go here. It used to sort of loop round and then loop back up on itself and come up to the railway station at North and then join back up. Um, they are obviously building to the north station, but it's going up Talbot Road. Um, it's a shame they're not adding the other line back up, but it wouldn't really be worth it with it being about 10 foot steps back. They are planning to attempt to um, upgrade the trams to go to Livingham and St Anne's. Um, there's a few methods that they're trying to get. One was maybe you take over the South Railway line at some point. They can't put anything in for that until um, the North Station extension is done because they can't apply for funding for two. They need to do one at a time, sort of thing. So it'd be nice to see if they can get them going further. Um, I'm just getting some history up. Um, they've got 18 uh, Flex City 2 trams. It was 16 till Christmas last year where two extra trams um, were on order and they got delivered um, in over two different weeks in December. I managed to go and see one of them uh, get delivered. It was quite interesting to watch. Um, I think I watched number 17 come in, it was. Um, now, the track is owned by the council and so are the trams. Um, but Blackpool Transport is the operating company um, of the, the stock. The overhead wiring is also owned by Blackpool Transport. So it's a mixture. Um, the council are the main shareholders in the um, company as well. So if we move on, we head out down towards Norbrek. Now, Norbrek is the massive castle hotel which is going to be uh, built for the route. That will be going in this, this space here, so that will fill this big gap up. Evening Bailey, how are you doing mate? We've got once again, the funky, uh, these are the uh, vehicle access points, so you've got to be aware of trams in here again. There will be a few more different ones of these made when we get them out. So moving on, we have Norbert North. Now this platform was a very, very late addition to the route in real life. Um, not last year, the year before. It, it was petitioned that they need a platform here because all these that live in these houses over it, they had to have a tram stop. And it got knocked down when the original route was upgraded to from I think it had about it was about seventy was it seventy something stops originally just in each direction. It's now thirty seven but up to thirty eight again <coughs> with this platform. It is custom track, it's all new. Um we've got custom three D concrete and wooden sleepers along with a tarmac style asphalt and that. It's a, people don't realise, Kev, how big the route is. When people get on your tram and they say, oh, we'll just come for a ride. And then when you get to the other end, I, don't re I didn't realise how long it was. They just expected it to be a ten-minute ride down the prom. 
But they they might have jumped on about three or four stops into the route from Stargate, and before you know it, you're at Fleetwood an hour later, <laughs> and then they just stay on and come back round. But yeah, it's an, it's a big route really. Um, it takes like obviously it takes a while because of the the speeds that we have, mainly because in the town centre everyone just wanders all over the track, so you've got to keep it to a, a realistic speed. Um, this needs crossing, so I didn't yet to stop the traffic. This is Little Bispam. Again, this will have a custom platform shell as such as with the Bispam one. It's it's a little bit of a different style, but it's in the same kind of um, Victorian shapes. At the minute, it's shut down because there's um, issues with the the, sh the shelter falling down. So at the minute, there's contracts in to repair this. As again, it's a listed tram shelter, so they didn't want to let it just deteriorate anymore. Obviously, the the, the amount of years that the sea, wind, and storm we have, it's taking its toll and it's starting to ruin the. Uh, the model, not well, the model, but the actual building. So we've got a little bit from turning loop here. Not quite as it used to once look. As you can see, there's a the fencing turns here. This used to have a triangle junction here back in the uh, on the old style of the tramway, but now it's just a virtual circle where we run short services in the summer months. Back back and from Stargate to Little Bispin we do. Heritage operations use this a lot as well. This is mainly as far as they, they come, unless it's like a gold weekend where they have seven or eight trams out. Now, here we can see where the start of the um, the walls are. I'm doing garden walls for every single house. Now, this is a, a very timely process. We're adding in fences. As you'll see in a minute, they'll, these are, they'll get a bit more finished here. So we'll start getting garden fences in about here. So every every house, to some extent, will have garden fencing. to separate all of them up. Garages will be added in where needed and all that sort of stuff. It's This is one of the worst parts of the job I've got to get all these in to make them work and match up and level out the best I can get them. This is a range curve coming into Cleaver so we've even got custom there's the wooden sleepers. We've got a brand new check rail as well. As you can see, the 3D clips on these are totally different to what we have on other tracks. But these are actually how they are in real life on the route. I love this. Once again, Callum's worked wonders with this. He'd be, he'd be glad to see the back of this. <laughs> it's like, can, can you just make me this and can you just make me that? Well, um, without, without Callum this route would not look like it is so far and all these hard efforts very very much appreciated it's just like I say it's just it's just fired to be the first platform this evening so I can get um start getting them in we've got stuff such as the grids and the drainage grids that appear at certain sections of the route sign posts are ready for signs and um, there's a couple of old signs that are still here from the old tramway one says slow and the other one's a rain curve but these are like old yellow plot, uh, yellow signs which got saved and they're still in there today Aldi <laughs> it's just a generic model though which is already there which actually fits the boot quite well so this is this is Cleveland's um, once again shopping area not done yet because we need shops um, up to now all these we're trying to keep the the FPS count down um, on textures so Callum's optimising as many assets, uh, assets as he can so that they don't make a big hit on FPS stuff that's going to be further away will not be as high a detail on textures obviously line size stuff's going to be a lot more detailed but we're, we're making it on a, a me happy medium where it won't kill it as you see I'm at the minute it's more built up up here This is these are more finished areas down here and I'm getting, on my potato PC as a lot of people will call it, I'm getting 50 FPS at the minute. 50, 60 FPS here and there. So it's, it's running well. Same with trees. 3D trees line side. Everywhere else it's going to be mainly 2D. With an odd 3D one here and there just, in, just to give it a bit more detail as well. Different variations of sizing in tree once again. I've learnt that from Mark with his uh, Aylesbury route where 
don't just put the same size in because it looks the same. Get different heights, different shapes, and it it, it, it brings it a bit more to life. That's just um, one of Just Train's church models. That it's quite close to the actual real ones that are here. So once again, it's it saves us in an asset. Thank you very much, Bailey. I'm I'm hoping that people do recognise a lot of this. To me, it's recognisable. I'm hoping it is to everyone else. These still aren't quite right yet. Try and get them just to fit. Like that. Nope. Like that. Nearly. They do just sit over the rail, so it... There you go. You actually get them over the rail. Some of them are quite hard to get right. This is Cleveland's. So if you if anyone goes on Google Maps and look for Cleveland, you'll see whereabouts it is. It's at, unless you're in the local area, it's easy for you to know. But this is sort of two or three miles now from the end. So if I go on the 2D map, um, Cleveland is here. Fleetwood is our end terminus up here. So moving on, we'll head away from Cleveland. And as you can see now, this is where a lot of the detail is finished in housing. Everything's virtually nearly finished, bar fences and a couple of customs. To be slotted in here and there. West, this is West Drive tram stop here. Platforms will be added. Got a workman's club. I'm going to try and get the model for that in here. It's also a nice to have a route where I used to, I used to live. I used to live um, here. <laughs> that was my old house there, <laughs> where it's highlighted, where, where I used to live when I was younger. Not exactly the same building, but it's the same type of house. I don't live there now. I live a bit further down the line. I actually live about <laughs> literally down the side, literally behind the, the track. The track goes down the back of my house, virtually. So this is Thornton Gate. We've got the actual buildings from Thornton Gate. Shane, nineteen ninety two Wells, thank you for the follow, mate. And uh, welcome to the stream. How are we doing? Yeah, these are the actual customs for Thornton Gate. Um, overhead wires, that's another thing we've not talked about yet. We haven't got any overhead wires in the route. Um, we're waiting for a proper tool. I am aiming to get a proper tool where we can get the zigzag wire in effect. And I'm hoping that it will work with trolleys. I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk with Alex on plans for that. And I'm hoping that we can get something where it will work. Obviously with these freeware tram models, it would not work with a zigzag wire, the, the, the trolley is down to the model, you've got to make it so it would work and communicate to some sort, so it would work with a zigzag. <coughs> so these are static, so it, it wouldn't work, but as I say, you've got something that you can actually drive for now, freeware side. Um, but I do aim to get as as much detail on the overhead wiring as possible, in the curves especially. Ah, excellent, excellent. No worries at all, mate. Now, yes, um, a Beulah line, I've noticed um, Thompson's pantograph where it retracts as well. That is very, very clever. I, I'd love to see that with the tram. Um, I have had talks with these sort of details. So it, that's all in the scripting. So it, as long as we have something where it talks to each other, it should be doable, hopefully. Because there is sections of the tramway, especially here. If you go onto the centre line, the overhead wiring is a lot lower than um, the main line. And you do actually see the pantograph. If, if you can see my hands, it, it, it's quite, it's quite a retraction. It, it, retract, uh, whatever. The, probably opposite. The, 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 it compresses a lot. <laughs> if that's the word I'm looking for. It's, it's quite, it's quite interesting to see um, differences in the overhead wiring. So it'd be nice to hopefully get something like that. That's my idea. Is it's my plans. Whether it'll happen or not is a different thing. But I, I, all I can do is keep asking. Fingers crossed we, we can get these details just to bring it into a lot more uh, of its own. Majority of it is not too bad. Um, these sections of the route, there is a, a single overhead pole in the middle of the route with two arms coming out where it just zigzags along. That's not too much of a, a problem. Uh, yeah, it'd be a, it would be a problem with these freeware trams. It wouldn't work with them. It'd have to be anyone that makes a model. Obviously, you'd have to do something where it would link up and talk with these over wires. I don't know how it would work. I'm, I'm not a scripter. I am just a builder. I wish I knew how to do all that sort of stuff as well. So many ideas I have. But you've got to keep it feasible. I'd be here forever if I, if I could. If I could get every single detail, it would probably never be finished. But I'm getting as much as I can in. Um, here is an old 
permanent way depot. So the actual these are actually here, still these points. Um, this was used as the compound when the upgrade tramway happened. So there used to be tracks here, and there used to be an old crane here. The crane actually got sold to Crouch. What used to be on here? I think it's at Crouch Tramway still. But yeah, there used to be tracks in here, and it's got a lot of history because a lot of the old heritage trams um, got scrapped here. So such as Coronation cars, um, standard cars like the Martin standards, such and like trams like that, they all got scrapped in this compound in many years ago. Forty two three oh one, thank you for the follow, mate. How are you doing? I'm welcome. But yeah, we've got we've got the mounds of hill hill grasses here. As you would in uh, the real life today. So this is Westmoreland Road crossing. As you see, we've got pavements and there's another detail actually I haven't showed you. As you can see, I've even managed to make drop down curves. <laughs> which I aim to try and get as far as I can where possible so all the driveways if you look there we have drop down curbs for the cars that was another little idea I had just come to the top of my head I thought oh, we'll do that excellent good to hear good to hear I, I'm just trying to find new little things just to make it uh, as much of its own as I can so once again you can see them here so once again you've got the uh, the old wooden sleepers here with the uh, check rail and the funky shoe, uh, the clips and here is, vir this is a lot com more completed here now, this is virtually done, apart from the um, terrain painting there is some here though. These are this is Russell, so this is Russell Beach and Russell Beach Farm. Excellent Bailey, I look forward to seeing that mate. I look seeing forward to seeing your progress. So this is a this is a horse farm here. Um there is a stable I need adding in here yet, hopefully to get. But um yeah this is all virtually finished. We haven't got ter terrain textures matching up with the track yet. I shall see if I've used one of Just Trains one which when I had the old track that matched up but the minute it's not. That's another idea I've got Robert. Um, invisible pla uh, platforms in town centre especially on the town centre promenade where you've got obviously you can have people wandering around the prom that's an idea I've got so I'm going to probably implement that some somewhere. I might try and get some wider platform lofts for that. And then um, we can have people walking on the prom, otherwise it's going to look very quiet. And we all know Blackpool's not a quiet place, especially in the summer months. Road signs, there's going to be a lot of road signs. Oh, it's moving. A lot of these lampposts need moving yet. I changed roads. It, it's it's put everything out of line. <coughs> Everything's heavily a work in progress. <laughs> Get a football, just have players, want people wandering around. <laughs> As, as I was saying, road signs, there's going to be a lot of road signs, custom road signs um, in place along the whole route. That will be done. Let's move these while I'm doing it. You see, you can see here all these walls and fences. As close to the real ones as possible that I can do. We've got some new fences that have been met, uh, walls. So these are new walls. We've got centres, centre columns. to separate. This is another wall. It's quite this was mainly using Fleetwood but it sort of fit here as well so we put this one in. So we've got the uh all the fields here. Now if anyone is a regular at my stream and you'll have noticed that I've been doing route building on Northern Lines. Now Northern Lines the dev stream that I was doing a few weeks ago uh, at the ICI plant that's here. If I put Google Earth on, you can sort of see how far away from the tram where we are. There's the track. That th That is where we've been working. On that route. There's, there's where the ICI once was. As you, that, that just shows how sort of close everything is. That's the, This is the um, a Haven site. And we sort of... The, the route ends here. 
I'm going to turn that off again now because it's logging it. Um, it ends here. That's where the, this is where a road bridge is. So it just it's they're so close to each other. So yeah, that's how how close they are. But now we're coming up to Russell School area. Um, um, on my northern lines, Katie. Yeah, um, not as it is today. How it once was. How um, before it got shut down. So it is operational in that sense where you can run the old freight trains to ICI and Bernays. Um, I've sort of made it in its old style guys before it got knocked down so Hogwarts yes Hogwarts school now we've not got any custom buildings for this but I, I was lucky enough to find in the Just Trains asset uh, library these station uh, station these um, school buildings that sort of resemble Russell school the old uh, look now, this is a private boarding school this but it just fits the boot quite well I've got a couple of buildings still to add on this um, there's a few like dormitories type buildings here I did. I did. That, that is my route. Also, uh, Forney, um, Northern Lines, the Blackpool to Preston one. Um, also, Harrogate Loop is one of my routes out there. Uh, new gates. These are new gates. Yes. As the original ones that you can use disappeared when you got to about here. So we got these new ones made that don't disappear. So you can go further away now. Because they were really, really triggering me. Once again, we've got poles in ready for um, beware tramway signs to be made. They just need attaching to the posts. There's a lot of a lot of signage to come, track speed signs and everything like that. Once again, you've got your track rails here. I've made it so because it's quite a rough section. This I've made it so it's a little bit more rough on the drive. Uh, we are. Thank you very much for that, mate. I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm actually there's an update coming for ha uh, the Harrogate Loop very very soon, so keep your eye on Vulcan Productions on that one. There's a lot of work gone into that. Um, more on that on another night. I'll I'll be showing that off on a separate stream. Um, so we are now at Ross, this is Ross School tram stop here. Before we sort of leave the main road now and head into like a bit of like a rural countryside route. Um, so once again, crossings need adding in for these uh, junctions because I changed the road so they they got unlinked. All the fencing on there. As I said, as I was saying earlier on, a lot of stuff's changed within the route in this past couple of years. This here now is being built as a, a proper sports hall. They've just put the the framing for this, so it won't be added in the route because I can't add every new thing that's been built. But um, yeah, things have changed. And another another thing with the route. Back in its um, early days, not sure the on the correct years, but. The track alignment was totally different to this. Now the, the route, I believe, used to come down here and sort of straight on. And I believe there used to be a tram stop somewhere around here. And then the route took this embankment and then it used to curve all the way around here. And I believe it used to join back up over here somewhere. I'm not sure what date it was, but I have seen um, write-ups on this. Oh, that's nothing. Three years on eight mile route. Don't don't go there. It took me four. It took me four years to do Harrogate uh, Northern Lines into what it is now, but with a bit more on it. Harrogate loop took ten years for forty mile. Mad. It is absolutely mad. But you, I'm just happy I got it out. <laughs> I've tried to keep asset count on tiles down. So on this tile, it's seven hundred and forty. So it's not killing FPS at all. Um. James class 37. What's this? Uh, do you know what we're getting trams built? Um, you're going to be getting with this is the Flex City 2, uh, the modern tram that runs on the tramway. Um, there is freeware heritage trams available, which are I will make scenarios using them on a separate release. They won't go with the route, um, but the the modern Flex City 2 tram will be coming with this route. Um, I can't show anything for that because it's not actually been started on yet um, in building process, but we will get. Um, previews on that later on in the future in the near future when it becomes a real thing signaling um i hate signaling signaling is one of my hates not too bad on a, a normal route like this 
but when you come to junctions it's a nightmare getting them to link up correctly and getting stuff in the right place hate it such as York when I had to re-signal that there was a pain in the backside oh yes definitely as well um, freeway routes it'd be nice to see used I'll tell you what I will be doing um, when Northern Lines comes out I'm going to change the Blackpool Tower asset over <laughs> that is one of the things I am going to do so we have a proper tower model that will not disappear about five meters away from it as people will probably see that it disappears and appears quite close to it um, there is signals on this real route um, they're not these TS guy um, these are these are just in place to stop AI from colliding as I mentioned earlier um, good evening Stu how you doing buddy good to see you mate um, signals these are to stop AI from colliding these will be sunk so it, when I do the manual it'll be a case of when you do a platform you'll have to tab to obtain to make sure you're not passing the platform if there's a tram ahead sort of thing there will be a, a, a signal at every platform and if it's a long section there'll be a, a signal every so often but tram services are every 10 minutes so you, you, you're you not going to really crash into anything unless it's um, a scenario where maybe where you're um, simulating like a late service such a load of trams clumped together you can only do so much with the system it's it hopefully um, we'll have a, a decent way of how the signals work road signals um, we have tram controller lights um, I don't know if anyone comes to Blackpool or Metrolink or out like that um, you will see little dotted lights on um, a post they're like LEDs um, these are basically a proceed with a straight line um, a, a danger would be a horizontal line or if you're going over Manchester Square it would be like that <laughs> it'll be it'll be on time when I drive it Kev don't you worry um, since this is the one I was um, on about on the um, discord channel it was indeed anyone here that hasn't joined me discord and wants to watch future streams um, there is a link at the bottom um, if you want to join discord you get updates on new streams and other bits and pieces there's people add the scenarios in there so if you want to join there you're more than welcome to get involved um, Facebook as well uh, I'm going, I'll get that link in for you I think it's that one nope I always forget which uh, command that is there you go that's my Facebook page well I'll put updates on there so if you want to come and join in more than welcome to please do um, there's some links below to uh, my YouTube channel and stuff there I put videos on so yep, Sinks, yep, Sinks has got a lot of scenarios in there. Makes fantastic scenarios. Go and take a look. So, <coughs> carrying on. We are heading into the back of Russell now. It's like a little... Uh, I like this section of the route. Even when I drive this in real life, this is my, fa this is my favourite section when you come around the back of here. So, it's a compulsory stop here. You actually have to stop at this crossing for traffic lights to change. Um, some bits are a little bit need changing yet. As you can see, gaps platforms let's put a platform in I know we're going to do some route building uh, I don't know if this, this is the right size for this one this, this is a good place to test it because it's an actual concrete uh, one uh, 2.5 I think it's going to be in the offset so we can see the new platform whether it will fit in this gap or not it might have to be a different type of platform size That's on the platform. That was our original fence before Just Trains made us one. Tell the difference. We had a right mare making these them originally. Uh, Callum, he really struggled. For some reason, it wouldn't allow to make it as a loft. It kept, it kept splitting every so often, but Just Trains managed to get a way around it, and we've got a, a decent one that works now with us. Right, so this should be the platform. Get the right one. Any second. It's not going to work. Where is it? <laughs> I'll just place that. It's not even showing, is it? Right. Hang on. I'll just place it this way for now. They need work on these anyway because they're slightly not right. They're not, for some reason, not showing up. 
No idea why. Uh, but they showed they were working before. Uh, uh, Churnip Valley is not one of. Have I placed the wrong one? That, this is it. Why is it not showing? Oh, it's the bloody wall, isn't it? <laughs> that little um That's my that's my fault, user error. I'm I'm on the wrong uh section. Right, so I'm hoping I've got the right offset limit. That was a wall, what was that? Asphalt platform in a wall. No idea what that one is, Colin. There's one in the wall section as well. Here we go, it should show up in a second. There we, there we go, right. Needs to be a little... Actually, that's right for this, because it's... Um, these walls will need improving. It's quite a narrow platform here. So, at the minute... Um, as you can see, they're a little bit on the pointy side at the end, so we need a bit more on the slope. So Callum's going to be working on that at, at some stage quite soon. These are the platforms of how one of the type looks. We're hoping we've got the right height at the minute. Yes, there's a new um, a new cafe um, building that's just been added in the Bispham Station, Stu. I've not been there myself yet, but and I do believe there is going to be a roof cafe, which would be very good for the old heritage tram because you can go up there and take photos as well. Yeah, these these walls need moving over because it actually these are the right width here. That's that's a platform. We've got a platform, which is nice to see. This is officially the first platform for the route added. I declare it open. Hopefully, it's the right height when they actually get the tram model. If not, a little bit of uh, adjustment will be made to make them fit. But I think that's more or less about right anyway. They're not very high. They're only a couple of bricks in height. So whilst we're here, we might as well go and put the other side in, don't we? We actually have a platform. Move that in a slight bit. We should have an opening ceremony. <laughs> there we go. Just move them down a bit. There we go. That'll do for now. I see a platforming. It changes the area so much when you just put a little platform in. It's amazing to see it. It's another another step in the in the right direction. Right, so moving on. This is Broadwater. There's <coughs> some fences that have mis disappeared here. I need to replace these. But yeah, there's a school here which uh, I need to get put in. This is a, a different type of school, and there's a, a church that needs to put in here. Um, substation model is going to be coming in here. Um, once again, this is Broadwater platform here, so we have an, uh, another crossing here. That's got the uh, the gates in ready, so that all the traffic uh, will halt here. Main roads will anyway. Pavements still need tidying up. So, as I say, the pavement is a lot of work in progress just to get these right. There's a big shop to be added in here. Some shops to be put on this bit as well, and uh, that. And then that's virtually it for this part. Every single house has been added to Fleetwood, so you know what it's missing. What do, what's it missing? So yeah, every single house has been added in Fleetwood. John's Chippy. Yes, John's Chippy. Third rail. <laughs> You're going to run some southern stuff down here, yeah? A 442. <laughs> I've done a HST on this. I actually took it 125 miles. It didn't end well. Just to see how much I can get out of it. 
chips. Chips. John's chip is here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. John's fishery. This is my neck of the woods. So we, this is Larkholm Lane. I don't, think, I don't know if I put. Oh, I need a crossing there because the traffic will still go over at the minute. Once again, trees, 3D only at line side to stop impact on the old FPS. Um, there was going to be grass on fields. I'm going to do that with asset block off so it doesn't kill FPS again. So we're at Heathfield Road here. This is the, this is the entrance to Fleetwood really now. This is this is the end of the end, coming up to the end of the line. Fisherman's friend, we need to change the name on that because it's uh, using the proper names. I'm thinking Fisherman's buddy or something like that. Take a 142. <laughs> There's some tight uh, tight cut, uh, curves, uh, Kev, so that'll be interesting. This is my this is my neck of the woods. This I I live on this street here. <laughs> so the tramway is literally if I if I turn to my right, the tramway is just behind me. <laughs> This is my neck of the uh, the old woods. So. Oh, so there's another asset, tramways fence. Another a new custom fence, fisherman's foe. <laughs> fisherman's buddy, fisherman's mate, fisherman's mints. Just needs fencing around here as well to finish it off. Um, there's a housing estate to add in here, like here. It's red row housing, so I need a new, brand new, custom like new build house to put in these. Then the, this is virtually just wasteland, so I just need to put wasteland stuff in and um, some sewage plant stuff buildings. That's it really. Uh, moving on. We come to this is Lindell Road area. Uh, now we're going to have a custom asset here, which is the fly, uh, Fleetwood Fire Station. Uh, Fleetwood Car Centre. Hoping to maybe get an asset for that, of some sort. Crossings in, so it stops all the traffic. And once again, sign posts are in place, ready. For the uh, the signs to be added, so the signs there would be um, no trespassing signs, tramway look both ways, and no entry because obviously you can't drive down the tramway. Even though people have done, the cars have actually done this section. <laughs> Didn't get very far. That last Christmas, a car got to about here and got stuck off this crossing, caused a lot of problems, as it would. So we've got paths in place. One of the custom bulbs are in it. Lamp posts. Hoping to get a few more custom lamps made. Main roads. But yeah, this is one of them. This is the little industrial state of the docks. All the fish works. Freeport shopping centre is sort of in place at the minute. A lot more to come yet though. Uh, we are now at the beginning of Fleetwood Town Centre. So there's a few. There's a custom to go in here. Uh, there's a, a flat that goes in here. Like a, an old style flat. We're going to look at the custom clock tower. One thing we can't do is, um, well, I don't think we can do unless we manage to get a way around it, is have cars and trams down the same without them crashing. It's just something that, that isn't available to me. I'd like to have it and I'd like to see it in there, but I don't think there's really a way around doing it. You'd have to do a lot of work to probably make a road that interacts with a tram coming down it. No, no idea how it'll be done. If it can be done and it can be added, that'd be good. Um, coming down here, you'll see a few new custom shops we've got so far. So, Fleetwood Stationery, Chili Queen, Pound Stretcher, which is Pocket Stretcher, Slumberland for Sleepland, Carlton Court, Carl Court, Card Factory, one of my most despised shops in the world. There's always a sauna in them shops, especially at Christmas. Uh, Ladbrokes, Bad Blokes, Tomorrow's Locals, Nissa. Janet's Junk Outlet Shop. It actually is a junk shop there and all. There is a crossover. At, uh, there it is. Needs a bit of tweaking. The tracks are. It's hard to work with this track, as well in some instances with crossover. We've got to try and make stuff that doesn't overlap over. But yeah, the crossovers are in. 
Uh, we have also got Chop Shop Barbers, Bargain Booze, Cut Rate Cans, uh, Game Buyers, Buy More for Less, Sell for Less. Some even haven't got names, and we just kept them generic so we can use them wherever we needed. Um, charity Shop, Scope, Periscope. <laughs> Some of them we use here and there again, but there's a few, still a few to come to finish off here. And there's a few sh a few houses need adding in here, and the docks, the dock area. Um, coming around here, just walls need finishing off for the church, and we've got Regenda Homes, which is up here. Relenda. <laughs> we have another clock tower, which is seen up at the top of Fleetwood, where we head down to Fleetwood Library. Which is another one of the custom models. Um, Fleetwood Market will be uh, here when I get a. I probably won't have a custom for that because you can't really see it, so it'll just be a same style kind of building. A few more bits missing here, yeah. Um, as we come down here, we've got Victoria Street crossover. There will be a boat in there for the ferry. Um, it won't be a moving boat, I don't think, but we'll, we'll have a boat in here. All the loft work needs to go in yet for the, uh, the sea wall around the RNLI. We've got an RNLI centre. We've even got ICES, which is actually here. <laughs> We've got the bowling club. We've got the iconic lighthouse. We even have the heritage Victorian shelter, which still stands today. Another heritage. The heritage stops are dotted around the route like they are in real life. So you have one at Cleveley's, you have one here at Fleetwood, one's at Cabin, Bispam, Tower, North, Tower for North Pier, uh, and Pleasure Beach. We've got the other like little small ha uh, house here. North Euston Hotel will be added in. Uh, my other ass dad is the actual manager for this hotel as well. So I aim to get as high details as possible <laughs> to make him happy. And this is the ferry. This is the final terminus platform. Where you would then go back around and do the, the circuit back. So, <coughs> there will be the greasy spoon and everything here. That's going to be added in. It's There's a bit to do here on this bit. Um, we, we've got... Now, it's not finished, but if I can find it. Uh, beach loft. We are going to have lofts for the beach. So, if I, if I do that... Lost with sand, and they'll slope down. It's not quite right yet because it needs a bit more slope on it. It doesn't work quite right yet. If I lower that down, it needs to be a bit more of a slope coming down. That's another thing we're doing. That was just an early model, just so I could have a look at it. All stuff like that will come towards the end. Um, the pier won't be going in. As the, the pier is not there now. Um, we'll have something to replicate how it looks. Um, there's like a little fencing sort of where it was. But the actual building, is none of it left. If I go and Google overlay, it should show how it looks. Uh, detail. It's here somewhere. There. That's where it was. So there's a, a, literally a fence. But the, the structure is no more. Um, I aim also to get the mount on here, the big, the big mount building, because you can see it over through Fleetwood. And the marine hall goes here, so I'll stick something for that. But all, everything, even the boating lakes in. But every single house has been added. Golf club, to some extent. Even though you're miles away from the route, I just, because the Fleetwood is a big massive alcove, uh, I thought we need to get it all in, because if anyone comes over here, it's blank. I'll get murdered for it. <laughs> so I'll, I'm trying to do it where we, we don't get... Well, you've not done this and you've not done that. Um, stuff will be tidied up tar as, as much as possible uh, on the tarmac side of things. It's it's very hard to do tarmac lofts um, and get them to shape up correctly. Um, so where possible, we have to be clever. Oh, we've also got the calf, the corner cafe at the minute. We've got tables and cups on. So you can sit here and watch your trams go by. Back to Blackpool. Now, I'm just going to open up my Google Earth program. 
It's not Costa, um, it's just a little corner cafe. They like Costa Clubs. They're just a, a Just Trains asset, which I'm allowed to use all Just Trains stuff because obviously we've be, been a Just Trains route. <coughs> we have our own and we have Just Trains Common Library, which we're using a lot of stuff on, which fits the boot. I'll just open Google Earth up. I'm going to go and have a look where the, the proper co concrete platforms will go in place because I'm going to add some in before we do a drive. Now, I, I had a pl an actual scenario planned out, um, but I, I faced a few issues where I need to change some track information um, such as directionality and stuff like that and making it so it doesn't route trans weird ways Bailey no problem at all mate thank you very much for calling buddy and I'll take a look at your channel I'll look for your new stuff good to see you buddy and take care alright so I'm, I'm just I'm not off the game I'm just on Google Earth just seeing where these tarmac platforms begin I think it's Stanley Road and I need to get the right width. So Heathfield Road will be perfect for this. We'll get a few of these and we're going to do a drive. Because it takes an hour to do a drive officially. But I'm not going to be stopping all platforms anyway. But We'll do some sort of run. Uh, right, so platforms. Anyone's got any questions, please do feel free to ask. And I'll answer as much as possible on this. Where I can and what, what I know. I don't buy. Uh, right, let's get that lowered in. These will be tweaked even more. Um, time scale, it's just as, an, as as soon as I can get it done. I'd like to say early next year if possible. If I can get a good chunk done over Christmas. I've got to fit it around work as well. Now that I can sort of show it here and there in streams, I can do it while I'm streaming as well, which is good to see. It's not gonna be I'm not gonna be doing this every week though, on the stream. It's just it's gonna be very here and there, just to have a like a little time scale update and that. This is going to be an awkward one to try. There we go. But I'm I'm aiming for the early end of uh, early side of next year, hoping it all goes to plan. I'm just waiting on the assets really now. Once I get me me custom stuff, I can soon get a good uh, chunk done. I like to get everything in like as many things together together, and then I can work on it all at the same time instead of coming on do, placing one building and then going again. If I can do a big chunk of sections together it's better for me the um, the MSTS when I've got that it was for the back for what it was back in the day it was brilliant um, I know the track wasn't exactly right uh, Fleetwood side it was like back in and out that's it as well it's, it's the case of just train side of things um, they've got to do the tram all the scripted and all that side of things. Um, they've got a lot of the stuff ready for it. It's just they've got to obviously fit everything around um, their workload. Obviously they've got the S8 coming. I think um, they're trying to push the S8 first before they, they take on the next model. So once that's done, hopefully we might start seeing some uh, renders and stuff on on that. I'm looking forward to it. Um, the depots. I'll just show you. I'll jump back up. We've not got the depot built yet for the uh, the Stargate shed, but we've got uh, as much detail and ready for it. <coughs> Nest Cornish as well. Um, that's obviously been worked on. It's just fitting everything in. We're in a queue, so it, it's coming along. So the depot shed. Um, plans for the depot. Um, basically, we're going to get the shed. We're going to get all sorts of... I think we're going to get quite a bit of detail inside with it. Because um, when we were here with Alex and his team, everything was photographed. Even like pallets of like spare tram parts and stuff. So hopefully we should have a lot of stuff for, like clutter for the depot. Um, also, we've got yellow track. This is something I didn't show you before. Yellow track. We've got the actual track roads. They're all yellow inside the depot. Um, 
I'm aiming to have automatic opening doors. Um, so if anyone remembers, I think it was the Kyle Inverness route had a roller door. It's basically a trattling item, so when you roll up to it, it'll open. So these will have the actual opening doors when you come up to them and go out of it. So that that will be simulated. All the signals here we've got. Uh, the balloon trams are from um, UK Train Sim. Along with this, this is the Croydon tram, <laughs> which is part of it's a it's on UK Train Sim. You can download it separately, and you can get it in I think one of the UK Train Sim packs. And then there was a reskin that came about, not because I asked someone, it just appeared on um, UK Train Sim. I think when just trains put their live feeds up this sort of appeared I thought oh I'll use that for just messing about with but it's got all destination on it and everything so it's nice it's just something you can use and again the boat trams are from UK Tracing you can't get this reskin though this was made for me um, a long time ago um, by I think it was James Hoyle and um, he put an advert on for me he did 723 for me as well well, yeah, 715 has actually got its advert on it as it uh, carries in the Heritage Tram Tours services now, if anyone's ever seen that. Um, the other shed is in. Callum's made this one for us. So, going back again, um, if you'd missed it, obviously the tracks, um, they all work, they just ain't rendered. We can't render it at the minute because of how many sets of points are in one section. You've got like, you've got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I think there's sixteen tracks, <laughs> sort of something like that. Just count in there. So it's very hard to get sixteen sets of points in such a small space, but they, they all work. If you go into 2D map, you can uh, you can see the point switches in there. You can they all work, look, which is. Right, this this is basically uh, Stu Harris. When we, it's around this section. I know what you mean. It's here. Now, when you're on a tram, you'll see there's a signal here. So if I put here where that gate is, there's a signal. Two signals. There's one and another one here. You've got the called points indicator, PPI, so points position indicator, which are the red signals. They work always. They're working. It's the signal before, which is the stop, stop, go indicator, which is the white signal. Now it's a protecting signal. Um, they don't work all the time. There's a there's an issue with them with the track um, at the minute. It, the council are working on it, trying to figure out why they're not working properly. So we have to stop as a compulsory stop, just to make sure there's no trams moving around in, on your line, like crossing over from here um, and such. So we have to stop, check, and then we proceed. They will be working on the actual route, but I, I aim to have like a maybe an asset, like a, a, the cover over bag, what we have there in scenarios. You could place it over and you have to simulate, you actually have to stop for a compulsory stop. There's little little things I've got planned. I'm trying to make the scenarios as interesting as possible. <coughs> I, I, I hope I hope it is realistic and I hope it is recognisable to people. Um, that, that is, is my aim. We've got the gardens. These actually have the concrete benches in here and uh, Squires Gate stations in. This is just a little bonus as I said before. Still some more detail to sort of add in so it's not a blank gap. But um, it, it's coming along. Y you're most welcome. As I say, any questions I will explain anything as much as I can. Some of these roads need tidying up a bit yet as well. Um, once the assets come, these gaps will finish up a lot better than the look at the minute. There used to be actual tracks joined up here for Foxhall, but they disconnected this. You've got the uh, the electrical fitter shop, the paint shops here. They actually are unelectrified. You can't drive on these sections past here. Um, they, you would be shunted in here, really. Yeah, the water park's in. Sandcastle. I love that. It's brilliant. A little bit different on that, how it looks properly, but it's, it's close. It's a very close representation. Um, I'll just do a quick fly through. We'll do a drive in a minute because it's getting late on. Um, I'm always losing building, but I'll, I'll give it a drive as well for you. So we'll uh, we'll do that now. 
and we'll see if I can drive it. I've only done a few drives <laughs> in the whole <coughs> in the time I've been building. I've had a chance to really have a a drive. There's no shunt locos. Um, basically, another um, they have a vehicle, um, a road vehicle, which is called a Unimog. Um, basically, you can couple the vehicle to it and it can push the trams around. If you look on YouTube and you see like Rigby Road um, shunting movements, you'll see the Unimog here and there moving stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll drive this. So we're gonna we're gonna simulate how how you would do a service. So you'd, you'd start off obviously in the morning. You'd come in and check your tram out if it's one out of depot. So the way this works is you you, you come out of depot. So just make sure these points are set. Now you come out here. I aim to have it as a proper scenario this but as I said before, I had a few issues with the routing. I need to check the track directionality out correctly and make sure it's all referenced right. Because it was routing me wrong ways. Palatine Road, you might not see the B&B curve. It's a bit, a bit far back. It's 10k out of the uh, shed. You would be what you would be walked out here really in real life, but we can't simulate that. You tell me where it is, Kevin. I'll I'll put some sort of B&B in for you. <laughs> now in, we are going to have a signal here. Um, I do know, I, oh, I've not driven this Croydon tram very much, but can't be that bad, surely. It's Bombardier, it's the same company that make the Flexi. Now, there, there is a signal here, uh, before you leave the depot, it's called a tester signal. Now, you've got a transponder, which you will see eventually when they get made. Um, which sits on the track, it's a little antenna, so you sit your tram over it. And then on the on the cab, I don't think it has a transponder box on these, to really show it. But on the, on the side of the cab, there's a box, a set of buttons, where you press... Just to check if your indicator button's working for the points, the traffic signals, and all that lot. So once you've done that, then you would uh, you ease forward, and then you would you'll sit again just before this. These signals aren't right yet. I need to sort these out. Some of them change, some don't. Then you stop here again. There'd be a gate in front of you, so then you have to call the right hand arrow to leave the depot, so it'll set your points, which won't simulate properly, but the gate will have an opening gate. I aim to have an opening gate at least, and then you will uh, get a signal that will show you that your, your position is working. So it'll be shown. It'll be working as much as you can possibly get it within the game. Obviously, you have to be within your limits in the game. You can't do everything. Ah, excellent! You've joined Discord. Excellent. We'll give you a proper welcome, don't worry. Anyone else that has joined Discord um, or hasn't joined, once again, you can get involved on that link below. So it's 15k now once you join the main line. <coughs> now, the way this works is you will roll up to this little section that's sticking out here. As you have to um, <laughs> spar down. <laughs> now you stop here. Then change ends. As now we need to run up to the top end to start service. KPH when you come over a set of crossing points. Well, on the junction. Anyone that's uh, joined late and has missed stuff, yeah, I think because of the brakes are on the back cab, I need to probably uh, make it neutral. 
I just switched cabs and didn't really turn it off. We've gone then. Um, yeah, I'm recording this as well, so anyone that has missed bits and didn't see the whole thing, it will be on YouTube, and I'm going to upload it to my Twitch somehow. I know you can upload stuff, and it'll be there, it'll stay. You can watch this. Uh, there's no bell on this. This ain't actually the Blackpool tram, by the way. Um, this is the Croydon tram. Just painted up like the Blackpool Flexi for now. We will be getting the proper tram, we'll have the actual bell and the horns, how they actually do sound. I'll just use this as a placeholder. Now all the speeds in platforms, um, apart from Stargate and Fleetwood, which are the exception, uh, you have to go through a platform at 25 kph. That is uh, the rule. Now the, the speeds are in until we get um, we get what you call it proper speed signs. It won't show up on the hood at the minute, but one they're in, you will see. Proper, um, I think that'll do there. Yeah, you'll see the, all the speeds for the platforms and all that. So I, I know where they are, so I can I can do that. I will tell you where what's what. There we go, Squeaky's gone. Oh, do you know what I've not done? I've not changed the points. <laughs> Fail. Back. It was going so well. <laughs> there we go. This is what happens when you have to do a manual scenario. Uh, right, good to go. Let's try again. Mega fail. There we go. It's ten over these points. It's ten, and then it goes ten to the platform, which is where that green signal is. That's the end of the platform. <coughs> Um, when you do a scenario, I've noticed that the points change for you. Um, there is some points where you do have to do them manually, which I will put in and set them up as manual points, so you'll have to go into the 2D mode and change them. Automatic ones will uh, change for you within the actual dispatcher. So this is Stargate. I'm not going to stop here because there's no platforms. So we're just going to roll through. It'll open up to 15 in a second. There we go. <coughs> Alpha Guinea, hello, how are you doing? Welcome. Um, there's a now I know what you mean. There is a box um, which is on the console. Um, it doesn't work at the minute. Um, we actually control our route ourselves um, until I, th I think it'll start working though with this box um, when they extend down to the north station. There's a little thing where you, you'll punch a number and it'll do the points for you. It'll set your route out. No one actually controls it in, a, in an office. There's no control. It's just us that drive it. We're driving the Blackpool Tramway, which is an upcoming route uh, by myself, just trains. Um, it's just a, a preview look at how it's getting on. This is the first public showing it's ever had on stream. It's actually it's a Croydon tram at the minute, though. But we will be getting a proper Flexi E2 tram when the route comes. Did I see things or did I just flash that out on the uh, panograph? Never seen things. It's 30 kph on this, so I've got to try and keep it to 30. That's 8% and it's picking up quite quick.
a lot of systems do work with the uh, the panel of routing. It's 25 feet of that platform. I'm not doing this very well, am I? Um, yeah, well, that's it. We have a set of points, bars for points that don't work. If anyone's ever been to Blackpool, you see a, a driver come out with a bar. That's what he's doing, he's changing the points. I had to do it the other day, actually. Some points weren't working. It happens quite a lot, to be honest. At the minute, the Stargate signals are a nightmare. They're trying to get them fixed, they're trying to figure out why they're not working. There's something somewhere that's caused them not to work. It's even got the proper seat maquette. Coming up to Burlington Road West, so on the approach into the platform. So there's the platform sort of where that green signal is, so it's 25k. Not mile an hour. It used to be mile an hour in the old tramway system um, when it before it shut down to change the upgrade. But everything's kilometres now. We can't kick any points because they're all in enclosed in tarmac, so we can't do it. We haven't even got any points on the actual um, sleeper section. They used to be on the sleeper section a long time ago, but they, it all got enclosed in tarmac. Like this asphalt stuff. So we come up to South Beach Car Park, and we slow down for 10 kph in a moment. I see quite a lot of cars on here actually. It's probably one of the first times I've seen busy, busy uh, traffic. Um, the the extension to Blackpool North Station at the minute will not be included on this version of the route because I have no idea what it's going to finish up looking like. Um, I plan to add it in as an extension down the line. I'm not sure whether it'll be an extension with that and some other stuff. I'm not sure yet. It will be added. But there's no, I've got no gradient profiles at the minute for it, and I don't know what it's going to look like fully. Sections of track have been added, but it's not all finalised and finished. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh yeah, back up to 30 now. I want to see if these points rattle when we go over them. Which I didn't look at. There, yeah, they're still going ahead with it, Katie. It's actually, it's, they're doing it at the minute, they're actually building it. There's a lot of tracking. But if we look at the tram now, it should rattle. Kind of. It does. It rattles around a little bit. So it does work. I need to add a bit more value on it, I think. It is. It is indeed. So I don't want to guess it. I need the proper gradients. I don't want to do a guesstimation. The signals aren't all working. I need to change some of these signals. They're not quite right for it. Some are very green, some aren't. 70 odd. I don't even think this thing does to me. Gotta keep it right, I've got to keep it realistic. We can open it up in a little bit anyway. Oh! I thought you meant 70 on his speed. So 70 for the point value. Roger that, I'll give that one a go. <laughs> you know, all I say is go up to 70 yards, so what? 70 on his speed? I'll, uh, I'll change that and give it a go. <coughs> I noticed it a slight bit. I actually crossed over that today, uh, Stu Harris, so in the car coming home. Uh, I've been to Blackpool today. And the first time I've actually driven over some of the new track. And it, yeah, it, it curves up to the Wilkinson's door. But um, yeah, they've not knocked down Wilco's at the minute, so we can't go any further from that. They're apparently moving up down the back of the Hounsel shopping centre near the Winter Gardens when they get it built. We're just crossing Waterloo Road uh, platform in a minute. I took the Class 43 um, a little bit back on this from, I did it from Bispam to Fleetwood. It, I just went full pelt. 
just to see how, how well it would uh, end. Didn't end well. It got a bit too tight heading into Fleetwood on the uh, Fisherman's Walk section. I ended up in some shop front. How are we doing, Cam? You alright, buddy? I got a speed ticket. Tram police. <laughs> Don't tell the virtual RAIB, though. I need to come back and visit. It's certainly changed. There's a lot of new buildings appearing. Sands venue, um, that's gone. That's going to be a new hotel. Massive five star hotel. We've got the new Hilton down the back of the block pull prom down near Pleasure Beach. New tram upgrade. There's a lot of stuff going around now that area. Wilkinson's going to have the new IMAX cinema. There's a massive hotel area going up there, new shops. It's, it's going to look totally different in the next year or two when it's finished. And Winter Wing in the Garden as well, that's having a big massive conference centre built at the minute. That's a massive. It's all undercover, undercover mate, but you can see the shape of it, it's huge. Apparently that's got a hotel going into it as well. It'd be nice when we get this seafront finished with all the, uh, the models and lofts. That's the most daunting bit. I'm trying to get that right. where the, uh, the old tram shed joins on. <laughs> That's it. You always see people sat there watching the trams and taking pictures. It's nice at night time when it's all lit up with all the LED lighting. Some roads need sorting because some traffic's like appearing and disappearing in quick. All work in progress, as I say, it's little changes that need to fix them. Signals will be looked at because these two aspects ain't right for this. They just need stinking underground then. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with them working. So we are approaching Central Pier, or what will be Central Pier when it's finished. Alan Bradley. We've actually still got that tram in Blackpool. I think it's 712, possibly. 702 or 712. That's still in the shed. I don't think it's a runner. It's stored up right at the back. I've seen it. When I did all, when I went to go and get all my track gradient reference, I went and had a, a wander around all the sheds, getting images and stuff like that for future stuff. Poor Rita. It's 7.10. That was close. <laughs> OHLE. Not here yet. OHLE is going to be a... In and out at some point. It's going to be a nice... Nice looking tool, hopefully, when we get it done. I want all the proper knitting on the curves. With all the tension wires, if we can get it. That's what I'm aiming for. That's what I'm hoping that I'll get. So this is the tower, will be the tower when it gets done. I'm not too sure, I know there's some talks of a proper open top, how they originally once looked to come. Um, Princess Alice is, is um, awaiting a refurb as well. Going to change trams now. I've just noticed who it is. Alright, Chris, <laughs> how are you doing? I'm going to swap. I'm going to take a balloon now for the next section. No, we're not. I've not put a, put a mark on it. No, we're not. We'll just carry on. <laughs> When you pass a heritage or a station tram, it's always 10 kph, and you give a, a two of the well, the ding of the bell. In this case, it's going to be a two of the horn. Make sure no one's walking in front of you. Point of 
points were right. I set the points back. I apparently did anyway. Seems to worked. Points were right. So here, here is where the, the extension will head up. I thought I did because it went back. Must have pushed themselves back. Um, yeah, the extension is going to go up there. So when I get details, I'm, I'm, I am going to add it in. Are they set to automatic? Probably. I'm not sure. I need to go through all the points anyway because some of them need changing in the, uh, the way they work. Metropole Hotel, that will be added in here as well. The big building. The H that hangs down, that, I know what you mean, that is the holding zone. So basically, <coughs> we can drive up to that H, and if there's a tram on the platform at North Pier heading north, we wait there. It means we'd have to sit back at another tram stop to assume it moved. North Shore is a rough area, isn't it, Chris? All replicated as, uh, as rough as I can get it. We're just heading up to Pleasant Street now. The Grand Hotel. Was that what it was originally, the, the Metropole? Oh, I assume. We've now got a Grand Hotel, which is the, what was the old Hilton. Which is, that, that building will be in as well, the old Hilton Hotel. The, it's Britannia Hotel that have bought that. That'll, that'll be... Uh, that'll soon be like the rest. in the uh, Imperial Hotel, which is named the Sovereign, for the instances of uh, payware. Not bad this, it's actually uh, decent enough to drive. Well, I've not got the numbers right, it's 9, nine and 16. Oh, the Imperial. Ah. Did you just live around here at some point then, Kev? Must have been a, a bit of a commute. Get there and back. Now we drop down to uh, Gin Square. Now the curve you start down to 20. And then you go down to 10, and then you back up to 30 when you, you climb up the uh, other hill, as you can see the, the hill. This is probably the, this and little, uh, the hill to Little Bispin will be the most strenuous um, gradients you'll come across on this route. <coughs> Excellent. <laughs> Please, I'm going to get some Blackpool transport vehicles. Um, there's going to be buses. And you live to the right of us here. See, it's a small world, isn't it? Bringing people together. 20 here and it's 10 just before the vehicle access point which is just about here where it starts to 10 there we go it's hard to judge where I've put the speeds in yep 645 um, someone put a, um, a pole in the track many years ago here one of the centenary cars, which was noted as 645, it came off the rails here, and luckily it didn't come over the seawall because there was a, a junction cable box in its way, which it saved it from falling over the edge. Absolute chaos. Mental. I'm not sure if they ever caught the people that did it. I remember that. It was the Farmer Par tram, um, the Farmer Par livery, which is now in Farmer Par's um, farm in Fleetwood. It's a, a static attraction. I've got a photo of me in there actually. Uh, we took Jane to see Father Christmas last year and that was there. So I managed to get in there. You can actually go in it and sit in the seat and you can play around the destination blind. So I just sat there and had a mess about, <laughs> like you do. 
There's quite a few of the Centurion cars that have got dotted about the uh, the coast. Oh, we're just past Cliffs Hotel. So I've never experienced this. Our new trams manage this hill quite well, even when it's slippy and that. The Mark II pack has a juicy new livery. What's that? What have they added? Um, neutral sections as such, they're actually the, the breakers. So when you go past an OHLE pole, you'll see an orange diamond plate and you have to power off there. Mainly it's for the heritage trams. Oh, they've put the pink coach in, have they? Nice. I'll catch up with that and I'll see what's what. Pink 31. Interesting. Oh, yeah, we had a pink one already. So it's not really new, the pink one. Oh, yeah, we can open it to 50 now. Um, yeah, so what they have is <coughs> orange plate for breakers. So heritage trams have to power off going through them. If they don't, they have to stop and they have to reset fuses because it blows the fuse. They've adopted that with our flexi trams just so we don't cause it um, problems. Which is not a problem really, but for us. It's just so we don't break anything. I think Chris, the um, the pink 31 and the Wessex stuff is down to do with that um, 31 enhancement pack. I don't know if you get the, the, the coach for free. I assume that's just going to be a free update. Download it. Obviously you need the, the actual 31 EP probably for the pink livery. So we're passing where the miners' home is and the old flats around here. So this is Cavendish Road. I thought we had a pink one. There's not a newly open platform at Russell, um, Stu, but there's a new platform at um, Norbert North. I thought we had a pink one, I'm sure we had a pink fur one. I think it was in the older days. So it's 10 kph here. As we uh, come into Bispam. Ah, the platforms I put in earlier. Yes, I will stop there. Although I don't think the doors will open because the, there isn't a platform in loft for the people yet. I'll give it a go. I don't think it'll open them. See what it does. So we head out of Bispam. while ago that as well now. Christ, I do remember that though. They cut that up, didn't they, on scene? 
because they, they couldn't get it out and back out to sea. It, it sunk that much. I can't drive the 40, I always overheat it, Chris. <coughs> there will be transport, uh, bottle transport buses, Kev. Um, to some extent. I'm not sure how many different models we'll get, but we are going to get some buses with that livery. I hope we can get some proper models, though, the actual buses we have. I assume stuff like that will come later on towards the end, anyway. Finer details. To Norbert North. Heritage buses, they have a number of them. Um, the, they operate sort of through the Blackpool Heritage Tramway tours company. They run them alongside. They do free services as well sometimes. They, uh, they do private hires and stuff with them. People use a hire amount for weddings and stuff. Yeah, they've still got that. We've got an Atlantean, a Swift, a Delta. Yeah, we've got a few different, uh, different buses. This little section here was where I was having issues with rooting a scenario before, that's why I couldn't do the scenario. Um, something to do with uh, directionality on this section of the track so I need to play about with that. It was like lo looping an AI going in and around the loop to get somewhere, it was weird. Was that the Blackpool Swift was it Kev? I've been on that Swift myself, it's a nice bus. Interesting uh, vehicle as well, we've got manual gears and it? some sort of manual gearing. There will be a massive green fence going up here by the way, um, as United Utilities have had this land for about five or so years now. So I'm going to replicate the, uh, the work side that's here. As I don't actually know what it will end up finishing like when it's done. This is the final, last big gradient now. Just gone down. Ah, there's the Blackpool one. Nice. A lovely bus. The people that own that um, bus are the managers of the Heritage Tram Tours. <coughs> Catch 22 have um, ran the double decker London Transport buses. Don't, they have a couple still, but they're not allowed to run any service on now because um, of DDA requirements and that. So we're just coming into Anchor's own lane now. They look after the buses, they do. They really do. I've got some seawall up here actually. That's the biggest stretch of seawall I've done up to now. Little, little bit of shopping. And we're just coming around a Ryan curve, it's 20 kph. We're going to have a health centre building going in here, which I didn't mention before, and this will be changed to a different style of um, apartments. That's just a, a generic freebie one that, that came with Kuju. Well, there will be a custom for that. You see some of the actual housework I've done with the f garages and the walls. A little bit chill, midget. Hello, can't see that. Look, not my screen. How are we doing? We do need some screeching. The one thing I couldn't get was on the day that we did sound recording, it was hard to get the uh, the squeal on, on the 
occurred because it was quite wet. It was hard work. We managed to get some, I think, from what I can remember. We're just coming to Cleveland now. Everything else, though, we've got a lot of stuff. Many sounds that we could get. So, when it, when it comes, it'd be nice to see the finished piece with that. It was a, it was a good day out, it was really, really enjoyable to do it. basic freebie this. Do you mean as in when the tram starts it sort of it rocks? I know what you mean. We are hoping to get that and Alex picked up on that when uh, we did the recording so that hopefully will be there. The, it's like a little, it's to do with the suspension I think. That, the way the suspension is themselves, so the tram sort of sways a bit. You can see the pantograph rocks are left and right a bit when the tram gets going. The sounds got recorded in March. I think it was about March time this year, early in the year. It does it. When, it also rocks when the tram stops. But it, yeah, you notice it a lot more when you're setting off. Uh, all the sounds were recorded. Um, all the reference photos were taken in March. Uh, basically, when, when Just Trains put the live video up, um, that was when it was done. This, this crossing hasn't been set up properly yet, so we will have a dent in the tram. <laughs> these signals need looking at. I put these in quite quick, just to mess about with what they need redoing. So this is Fortin Gate, just going past now. I'm heading to Russell now. if another Fenfrey is adding to that. I think that's the, it's the right way um, as the feather is just for the right hand track but it's, it's to do with the linking. I've, obviously I've, I've linked him up wrong. I need to just go over him. We've got the vehicle access here. This is 20 kph. Also the simulation on the, our tram that comes should be a lot more gradual on the speed side of things in this. You don't just take off like a rocket like that, because they don't go that fast as black ones. Take a bit longer to get to speed. Yeah, I need to put the values in. When you double click them, you need to put the values in. I've not done all that. They were quite early placed, to be honest. I just never got so, because I've never, like I said, I've never driven this properly. The little pony in the little set. Yeah, there will be. I don't know if we've got any pony balls. Might be a horse. I'll have to see what assets we've got. We might have to get something made. Yeah, there's always a pony and a, a little um, goat in that. I know what you mean. In the little um, cornered off section in that farm. Manchester trams will work on it because they're quite high up. The doors are really high up, aren't they? Once again, Manchester trams are made by the same people. That is something I'd like to see in Manchester Metro. When when I considered doing this, it was it was a choice between Blackpool or Metrolink. But I, I thought I'd do this one because I think it'd be a lot easier for me to do. <laughs> Metrolink would have required a lot more research, and I might not have had access to get all of that 
the access that I've managed to get with Blackpool. So with me working here, it's helped out a lot. Blackpool Transport would be very good to us with this. I've never been to see them. I've seen it, but I've never been. So we're going up to our new platform. So this is a compulsory stop at this set of traffic lights, mainly because of uh, vehicles that jump the lights in real life. So you'd sit here, you'd sit on the antenna and you'd just wait for the um, the lights to change. It usually take about five to ten seconds to change and you're off again. And that's the real... Oh, well, he's not, he's not gone over. The crossing hasn't got the uh, stuff on it yet to stop for uh, cars. Did it not? So what was it, did it used to be? Yeah, they're a bit close. But then again, I don't know how what the difference is for these the Blackpool tram in, in modelling terms. So that they can be moved over. Changed quite easily. That's the, the platforms still need a bit of work on them as well, yeah. Need to have a bit more of a, a, a slope added in. Is it a railway? I have no idea. I've never been down there. I don't know the gen of that area. Another thing, the bottle trunks will have these um, things hanging off the wind. The, the mirrors. We have cameras on ours. These would change for you. Yep. The way the signals work for the road junctions, you have a antenna in the track. So when you, if you're in a platform, you'll have an antenna on the platform, and you just press your centre button on your transponder. You have an advance if you. So if no one presses the bell, you can press the advance. It will change the traffic lights a lot quicker for you. You can just roll straight for the platform. You can go straight over the junction. And same again. These ones work automatically. So. You need to slow down for these because they don't change straight away, but you can yeah, obviously you just sort of roll over. We've been a blind spot. Take it a bit easier. Same again with the other crossing, you have to um, slow down because there's been accidents on these crossings. So to make it safer, they delay the, the, the signals. You're just spadding, you're blaming me. <laughs> it's contagious, is that spadding? I don't spad. Much. Still some fences to add in here, I'm waiting for a model and high there's quite a high fence that goes in here. Here's me another platform I've put in. A heat field. No, the doors don't open. I've not put the platform uh, the people in it yet. We're getting a few more wider platforms as well, yeah. Because um, there's a few different widths. I think this is a two meter one, um, which is about right for here. So some of the fences just need adjusting now. Then putting up an invisible um, platform in. Although Callum did mention he might be making it so the, pl the platform will just spawn people straight away. <laughs> Ah, fair enough. Good on him. <laughs> Bloody hell. 723's, um, it got repainted about a year or so ago now. It's back in its cream green. 
quite smart. They've done a lot of work on the trams these past few years, getting a lot of back in service. Put some effort in. They've just like, relaunched a boat tram as well, which got a full rewire. The whole tram got varnished inside and repainted. Rewiring, I think I mentioned that. Just loads of stuff got done with it. It's like a new tram. Got a new nameplate and stuff like that. Trams seem to have more names these days than what they used to. That's it. He was one of the uh, the circuit clowns, weren't he? Charlie Trevoli, is it? That's how it's pronounced. Yeah, he was one of the uh, the clowns, weren't he? Is it Blackpool? I assume Blackpool Circus. And we're just coming into Fisherman's Wall now. Back down to 30 kph. Twenty-five for the platforms. Safe secure. You'd have an advanced light here, so there's a traffic light that stops the cars coming into the road here. So the, the light will be in. Obviously, it's, there's no cars, but I'm going to get a car so they'll the part on the side street, and that's where it'll look a bit busier. As I said, there's not a way I don't think we can get it where we have cars interacting, so they sort of like roll behind the tram, don't crash through it. It's a shame, really. It'd be nice if we could have done that. TS has its limits. A floating uh, flower box there. So all these bus stop markers will be getting put all the way through the route with all the bus stops on the prom. Just got to place them all in yet. Just coming to London Street. Platforms in, on the main road sort of go out and then back in again. Very, very slightly. You can sort of see it there. Does it again in the next one. Should have two stage security this day and age. It's just 15 kph now all the way around this section. So basically from here all the way around back to this point now on this loop it's 15. Apart from 10 when you just cross over the loop there's a loop up here as well. Yeah, your best bet with PayPal. Just 
coming into uh, the ferret now. That's another thing we discussed. Obviously, when you go around curves, it's hard to work out how we can get these without splitting. So that's gonna be interesting. That's the ferry. This is uh, yeah, Loom Street. So you got the. The actual uh, logo, uh, the the thumbnail for this route is actually this, with a heritage balloon tram. You've been here, have you? This bit was the first part I worked on the route. Getting all these pavements and that in. I'm not going to flick through a bit, it's hard to get these work to look right. This this took ages to do. Just need some tidying up and finishing off yet. <coughs> that little tower's changed a bit. <laughs> There's a hospital that goes in here as well when it comes. There's just gaps to fill up really. So this is all virtually done. All the roads are in place, every single road got a place been. Even place it didn't really need doing. Can't go that way. Optional, optional extras. Just going to nip into there. Is that on the modern ones, CK, or the old ones? What I'm going to do. bit of uh might look a bit boring to be fair to some people so I do apologise. It needs doing. Here's the fish plates. Well the new ones was it? Excellent. How long ago was that? The sooner I get these done can get away from doing the fish plates because it's a it's a bit of a boring task. Oh, who's that? Shane Martin 1992, thank you very much for the follow mate. How are you doing? It's getting there. It's a, it's come a long way from how it first begun. If we could have got these fish plates on the track as it was, it would have been a lot better, but it would have took FPS down, so it had to be done this way. Luckily we can sort we can tab it look, so it, it puts them in the correct place. I'll just lower them in. It's not too bad. Put these down. Not go too far before we move ahead. Thank you very much. Glad you're enjoying it, mate. It's getting there. It's getting there. Welcome back, Dan. 
you been up to? So the sections aren't massive before there's a fish plate. Have you just changed your nickname? <laughs> 50, 50.49 I tried changing mine to um, reflect the stream more, but someone's taken it the way I wanted it, so I've just left it as it is for now. I need to work way around changing it. But it won't. It'll reflect the stream. Uh, where did I get two of these then? That, that. That. That's the last one. Uh, fish plates. I want TSTV. Uh, I think TSTV on its own, but I don't think I can have it that short. Or train sim. T oh, no, train sim TV is what I wanted. Someone put it in, but there's no streams named as that. Because I searched and searched and searched and searched, and there's no one that uses it. So I, I picked this. So I had to leave it as Thomas too. Because I, I have a Twitch account for a long time anyway, but I never really used it. I just used it to watch other people's streams. And then when I come to doing this, I just kept it as it Tomaz when I was doing me, me normal gaming. So if I do like normal games, my username's usually just Tomaz2. Obviously for this, I use... Uh, yeah, I'll have another look and see if I can make one that works. Just have to do a bit of improv. The thing is though, because people know to search my name as it is, if I start changing things, it might make it more awkward. As people know it as how it is, I have to start changing everything, like all my links on the banners and the pages. <laughs> I'm having this bad TV. It's not that bad. I'm not that bad, surely. Uh, it's gone. There it is. You try and get both lines in the sort of same. Fish plates at the same place on each line because that's how they are. And just one more there. Right. Oh, we've underscores. That's an that's an option. I shall have to look and do it. Does it change automatically straight away? Yeah, I've heard all about CK's driving. Let's go backwards, I've heard. Uh, there we go, there's another one. The only small assets here, it's hard to find. We have to scroll right in. I think that's it. That section. If there's any more. I need to put them on the exact same spot. Bot now on the other track. More or less. We won't see all these anyway because when the platforms are done, there's actually rubber underlay stuff like underlay, but like an underrun on the platforms where people can walk over. So some of these will probably not even be seen, so I'm not end up removing some of them. I watched, and he was doing truck sim one night. There was no going reverse in there. <laughs> That's a long name. <laughs> I've lost my fish plates. Where have we got to here? There's one. I do a section at a time, then I don't have to just go in one direction all the way. I 
can do two sections together, it means I've done most of the route then in one hit. <coughs> you can either do it or you can't, Dan, at the end of the day. I can't do modelling, so I'm useless at that aspect. So you're, you're good on that side, I'm bad at that side. It takes time though. It's taken me many years to get to this. Uh one now. I'm always learning stuff. I can't script anything. I can't model anything, I can't script, I can't build like that. I can't use Blender. Sadly. I'd love to be able to use Blender. Luckily I've got people to help. <laughs> uh, where's the next one? There it is. What I should have done is lay them both together at the same time. And then double click and get them moving down together. That way I at least know where I've been. Uh, there. Nice to see yours done, Rob. Have you done any more of that recently? Uh, where have we got to? There. Yes, we shall sort that down. We'll speak of that at in the private chat some point soon when it comes to it. I didn't place that one down, did I? Hello, Matt. <laughs> How you doing, mate? What have you walked into? Have a guess. Although the title does say, if you see it. How you doing as well, mate? I thought I'd put all these fish plates down. Um, they only they're every so often Kev, so there's quite a few. I'm not putting every single exact one in, but I'm just going to put a, a decent distance between each one, so they'll be there. You'll see them. Um, I'm hoping next year, Dan, uh, Dan, bloody hell, Matt, getting names mixed up now. Um, next year, early next year, I'm hoping on my side of things, anyway. I need to find the other ones now, where are they? There will be a lot more fish plates, by the way, though, in real life, than what there is on this, but... I'll be here forever, figuring out where they all are. Just put a decent gap between each one. Which is about right. It should be, should it? Excellent. I know what it is. Um, maybe a bit longer than that, Matty. I'm saying the early half, like the early quarter of next year. Once I get all the uh, the 
building sent over. Okay, there we are, that's as far as we've got, I think. Right. Let's place them all down, and we can move to the next section. I'll put... I would put one in there. Uh, this is cabin here. So cabin's a uh, cabin platform. If you'd like me put it on, it's F6. It's not let me bring up the marker names. Yeah, it's a cabin. <laughs> so it, it, at the minute we're just we're waiting for all the hotels and hotel looking buildings to uh, arrive so I can place them to close all these gaps up. All the houses are in, virtually. And shops as well we're waiting for. You can you'll notice the next bit a bit further along though Matt when I get to it in a minute. I'll show you. When we get down here. You missed the drive, Dan. I just literally did a drive of the whole route. I don't know if you saw it or not. That was for about an hour, nearly. I will be doing this again, um, a bit further down the line. Um, it's not going to be every week. Maybe once a m nearly once a month. I'm recording it, Dan, by the way, this, so it will be going on um, YouTube. And I will be uploading it onto Twitch, so it'll stay on Twitch this. So you can watch this back without ever getting wiped off in two places. There's no point in me not doing a recording for this. Because I know people will miss stuff and they won't have seen everything. Once again, if anyone's got questions on anything regarding it, what's what what's what, what what's coming, let us know. Oh, can you? I'll, that'll, uh, that'll do then, if I can do it from YouTube and Twitch. There is a little bit of editing I might need to do. I'm not too sure yet. I need to go through it. Well, it should be per more or less pretty much alright, to be honest. Um, I'll probably just end up just up uploading as it is. That was Cavendish Road. Yeah, see, you, you're recognising it now, Matt. You'll notice this bit in a second. There's an actual building in. section. Give that a save before I lose it. So we've got Bispermere map. Well, there's an arcade that will be going in here and some shops. There's a pub uh, here that needs to go in. And a few more houses just to finish up. Then some trees and some fences to finish up. So there's some hotels that go here, and then it's some more posher looking houses that I need to get made. Just get and get a couple of models and then just vary them. So plates again. Do this way, it'd be a bit better, won't it? If I do two together, there's going to be some more interesting streams coming up quite soon as well. I've got two different um, products that I'm going to be showing off. So, more on that will be uh, shared on Discord and on upcoming streams when I get approved dates for this. More things not to be missed. And it's not related to this route either. Just Train's common library are enabled down here. I assume you mean. Or Chilton Line. <laughs> CL to me is common library. If that's what you mean. 
If so, yes. But I've got both. Um, it is it and something else. <laughs> you know what it is. You don't know the second one. I only got asked today by uh, someone. Yeah, common library, yeah. A lot of the buildings uh, and that houses are from common library. Apart from, we've got some of our own houses that got made. So, we got we got a new bungalow made for us. What else did we get made? Try to find them. These were made for us. And I'm just trying to figure out where I've put them all. Some more further down the line. We've got a good few different models. When did I get up to with these, by the way? Here. You can give it a guess. I'm not going to say you're a no. <laughs> I'll see if you can guess, though. I don't think it'll be too far away from when I do it, though. No problem at all, train some guy. I shall catch you in a bit, mate. You don't know, Dan. <laughs> that was a good guess. When I get up to Little Bispam in a minute, I need to try a track setting. But down on the on scenario side of things whilst I'm here. Because I was having issues with routing. That's why I couldn't have a proper scenario with AI passing. I didn't have time to change and try and test a full run before doing this. We're, probably, we're over half, nearly, on these fish plates. Nearly halfway. When we get to about Cleveland, I'd say it's about half. P? Is that a station abbreviation? I have no idea what you're on about. <laughs> You've lost me. <laughs> Was that a script? go to this loop and I'm going to put all these down because otherwise we'll just get too far yeah I assume that wasn't going to be meant for stream because it didn't look like it was a stream comment <laughs> Some I get that sometimes when you forget to click your second screen or s click off it and then you spad your AWS is going and you forget that you've been on your other monitor and your game's running. That's why I spat all the time, you see. Right, so these are the fish plates up to Little Bisman. So I'm going to place these down. I'm going to try and fix the routing error next. Whilst we're here. I'm not doing this this way. I'm going to... One... Two... two together much quicker once again at the minute you can see gaps the uh, the ends will be placed in we just need to fix that Something to do with when you render the track, it puts it, it makes the ends the sides go. So it's quite a quick fix. Uh, Callum tells me so. It will be sent to me at some point as an update. Try and 
track's virtually all finished now though. I think we're getting a concrete, there's one more piece, uh, a concrete type, Fort and Gate, and then we're done. Maybe that's saved, don't want to lose them. It's nice to see that it doesn't crash though, even in 64 bit. To be fair, it, even in 32 bit, I've never had issues rebuilding. Very rare does it ever crash. Well, if you do something it doesn't like. It was very, very rare. Oh, that's bad a lot. People will know that. People will tell you that. Just for silly things, I don't. I'm not looking. I'm usually looking at comments. And I, uh, I forget that I'm meant to be driving as well. Where's the next one? There it is. These little jobs are very time consuming. Boring boring tasks sometimes, but need doing. I'll be glad to see the back end of the fences that I'm doing. Uh, make sure your eyes go funny when you're going across. Or if it's making anyone else just go funny when you watch it. The fences are like mesmerising. <laughs> you need to make sure they don't go past one of these fish plates so I'll go back. <laughs> Hi Nigel, how you doing mate? Did you type the code in this? Do it again, <laughs> Stu. Thank you very much for calling in, mate. I hope you enjoyed it, and there'll be more of this in the near future. By the way, I'll catch you on the next one, hopefully. That must be an absolute pain in the backside, Dan. Uh, was it a lot of code that you typed in? There's one more thing we hope I'm hoping maybe. Anyone want line six hundred one of your code? Go on. Let's see how mind boggling it is. Yeah, I'm also hoping as well to maybe get the earthing cables. Because on the on the fish plates there's there's a fish plate and then there's an earthing wire at each side that goes across. So I might even get them in the same method as this. If you can get them. Callum wants to do it. Nice. I know it is. I know it's full. Not many other people will know that. No one should know that anyway. What it is coming up for. the next session. <coughs> uh, Callum, no, but it is. So you got your, you got your fish plate. And then as a separate asset, 
so basically either side of the fish plate there's an earthing strap so it goes from one rail to the other and goes around it so it just sort of like comes around and drops down a bit underneath it so it could be it's on both in the inside of the rail again there's none on the outside rail but they're in the inside rail so you just have it a little bit longer either side of the fish plate and then it would just be like a stud going into the track on each side I might have an image, I might have sent you an image of how they look to be fair, somewhere in one of them packs that I've packaged up of many photos I'll have to get some more pictures of the, uh, the platforms because I don't know what I did with them I thought I sent them you I did see a folder full but I don't know if I deleted it by accident <laughs> yeah, it, will be, it will take me long to get some photos I can take the camera with me to work and just grab photos when I'm there It's virtually only, I think it's just a Stargate style that's the other type anyway, which is the, the pebble dash resin kind. Uh, extension to North Nigel is not going to be included, I don't think, on this version. Because I've not got track gradient information and it would require a lot more assets making. And this has been priced up as it how it is, so that probably become as an extension in itself down the line. Especially when I know what what the actual area is going to end up looking like with buildings and stuff. There's buildings that haven't been built yet. The terminus. So down the line, we'll see. It's sort of the route setting from like 2012 to current now, just before the extension, really. And so that, all the way down to there is done. I'm just going to have a look at that track column that you know I mentioned before the the problem. So this is set to both directionally. I need to set this loop as a freight loop to try and stop AI just getting rooted down it. Right, freight. Would you set this to both still, Callum? I think I think it's still going to be both, isn't it, on the loop? I hate down crossovers, there we go. Give it a go, and well, I'll have another go at making a scenario with some AI around here. It won't be tonight, but... We'll give it a go. That's main line. That's main line, so it should be right. I'll come to have a play with that. Need to look at the signals before I do it anyway. Let's get some more fish plates in, let's get that done. Yeah, they've done loads of track work already, Katie. They've, they're shutting the promenade at Talbot Square on Monday. It should have been shut this week, but it's been delayed a week because of um, emergency sewer works on Dixon Road. So once they're done, they can shut the other prom because there's no through route fully for the traffic diversion at the minute until that's been fixed. But the, the tramway is meant to be finished in February bar the Wilkinsons bit um, because obviously they've not knocked Wilkinsons down yet they're waiting for the new building to be built before they do that so it's gonna, I think there's going to be a temporary tram stop just up at the top end until they finish that last bit got the building working but it should be open next year early next year I'd say for the season that's what they're hoping I think Wilco's is going and it's meant to be going somewhere around the back of Hounds Hill because Hounds Hill's getting an extension, I think, of some sort. So they're going there. I 
thought this was going to be a night nightmare of a job, but it's not actually that bad. Quite quick, actually. It's better than doing fences. It's look, it's it's better that you can do the tab and uh, lay it along with the track. Um, I reckon there'll be problems, Nigel. Especially getting over the promenade. I think it'll take some time to get uh, people get used to it. I won't be surprised if there's a few bumps and accidents on the way. It's been, what, 60 years since a tram went down Talbot Road? And then all of a sudden the tram's just going to come rolling down. So it'll be, uh, yeah, it'll be an interesting start, I think. But then the main tramway didn't go off with a good start. The first tram that ran to Fleetwood derailed <laughs> when they opened up. That was down to the, uh, there was a load of sand build up on the, uh, the Fleetwood Ferry curve. The, the council hadn't cleaned it out the night before, and yeah, it uh, derailed on the very first surface of the new uh, modern trams. Yes, um, yeah, Wilkinson is where, where the original station was. Where the platform north station is now, that was the excursion platforms, weren't it? What they use now. Next bit. So we should be able to cleave us on it. Check this link out. What's this? Oh, yeah. The tramway used to go on the outside, didn't it? As well on that where the old station was. Excellent. lot of stuff. I've got a few groups on Facebook where they have a lot of the old Blackpool stuff. It's good. It's nice to see what stuff used to look like. It's changed a lot. Massively. I certainly didn't see in person. Well gone before my time. Try and get these just so the rail overlaps like that. Nearly had it then. Press right button. There we go. These are a nightmare. Leave it like that for now, sort that. Just try and get them, because obviously the track's on the gradient, it's not flat.
Whee! Nice work that done. Look forward to seeing that. Not not too far future. Yeah, there was a lot, weren't there? Massive, massive place at the time. Very busy. There's nothing like that now, though. Still busy, but not to the extent as busy as it once was. The amount of trams they had back in the day. They've got 18, 18 trams now that cover the service. Is it? Bloody hell. <laughs> How long's that taking to do, Dan? That's impressive. Hours, Jesus, that's mad. Obviously, that ain't in one sitting up, is it? Yeah, no, yeah, big car park, uh, central. It's, it's a shame how it ended up. to add a lot more portals in as well. I just started putting portals in today. And I hope that the scenario is going to work. You attached an animation to an animation to an animation. That's a mouthful. <laughs> So how many how many lines of code approximately have you put in? <coughs> Just to get that working. The upgrade is probably about 2k, and there's lots more. Deal. <laughs> no rest of them, mate. We have 14 platforms, did it? Wow. That was central, so how many Blackpool North have? Hey Goofa, how you doing buddy? Yeah, fingers crossed for you this month. I look forward to seeing that. That's seeing an update. Been a while since we've had one. Good stuff mate. Oh it's Googa. It's the blue. It, when I'm set far away, it looks like goofer. I do apologise. Just tell me off. Uh, a bit further down yet. I 
Well, that's alright then. I'm not in the bad books. Be ending very soon, guys. By the way, I've got work in the morning, so I can't stay on all night. But hopefully, uh, it's been a good insight to what's on what's to come. I hope you've all enjoyed it as well. Just gonna get some of these fish plates in before we do these leveled up. I know where I'm at. Once again, anyone that is late joining and has missed any of this. Um, I have recorded it so it will be going and up being uploaded to YouTube and I will be uploading it onto Twitch so it'll stay on Twitch this it won't it won't remove I'm hoping. <laughs> right, so that's done up to there now. So we're not far. They're literally in place to here somewhere here now. So I want to go from there to about here to do a fish place now. It's not much. About a couple mile. You're most welcome. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm going to do one last fly through from the top end. Oh, I don't know. Did it? Hang on, Kev. Oh, it did, Kev. I do apologise. Thank you very much, mate. You're very, very kind. I did not notice that at all. <laughs> it, I did not flash on screen. I don't know if I've changed anything. Yeah, it's there. It's in the list. Three hours ago. <laughs> Thank you very, very much, mate. Very kind of you. Get a stick of Blackpool Rock. <laughs> Right, so we'll, we'll do a fly through before I end, for anyone that's missed, of what's to come with the tramway. Um, so, this is obviously Fleetwood Ferry. Still a bit of work in progress, there's a few buildings to come. Uh, the beach is going to get done with a, a sloping loft, which will replicate the slope down it has here. I've got some uh, walls to be put in here, retaining walls when I get them. I'm gonna, the dock area is going to be placed in its uh, derelict state got a few buildings that will come for this. There's a crane that goes up here so you can see that from like here. Other than that it's, it's quite wastelanded now. There's a few warehouses along the way but other than that it's, it doesn't get used at all. There's a few houses to go in here as well. So we come around we join the main street. A lot of the, the street will have cars parked up along the way just to make it look more busy because we can't have cars that interact with the tram. From what I know of, I've got the clock tower at the top end of Lord Street. We're at the London Street area platform. Platforms will be getting uh, put in. And the build, the models have been built all by Callum Green, who is known for the uh, Wigan to Southport route. Um, he's been working with me on this, so we've got custom assets throughout, and uh, Just Trains Common Line because the route's going to be released via Just Trains when it's finished. So it's either just, just trains are building me some assets also, and they're doing the um, the model of the Flexity Tram to come with it. And then it's our side of assets alongside that. So fisherman's walk, a couple of bits missing in here yet. Fences to be put in some of these like line side houses to finish it off. And then it'll be terrain paint, etc. If there's a way around that, Dan, that'd be brilliant if you could. It's only that it's only that one stretch of road here. It's only this. So if that if something could be done with that and you, you can uh speak with the man <laughs> and convince him that something could be put together, that'd be brilliant, that would really, really be good. Something that's not been seen before in the game. Um right, so head away from Fleetwood. 
come up to Stanley Road, there's a few bits missing here. Just customs that are coming. There's a bit to be done over there. And a, a, a new housing estate that's appeared this past couple of years that needs to be put in there. Wasteland and a few warehouses. Hello Volvo. Uh, definitely be difficult. Leave, leave it to the professionals. <laughs> Dan knows what he's doing. Come down past Fisherman's Friend. Heathfield Road and then we come down to Broadwater. All the houses have been added in Fleetwood. I mentioned this before, everything is in. Every single house as well, I mean. How you doing Volvo? You alright man? Um I've got no ETA date for the release but um I'm hoping early on next year now. Once we get the, the bulk assets of hotels and shops, it'll become more finished. That's all it's waiting for really now, is just shops and hotels. And then the main attractions, like the, big, the big stuff. The, the main backbone's done. All the houses are done. I'm just doing fences and stuff at the minute now. <coughs> to finish off while I'm waiting for stuff. Platforms have just been received, the first platforms. Still need tweaking, but they look lovely. Um, signals and stuff like that also need put in. So this is Russell area and Russell School. Russell School's nearly finished, just need a couple of buildings to put in the front here. This bit's got some terrain paint. These are the, the farm fields at Russell. Some cows. We've got Russell Farm. This is the, f the horse farm here. The dog. <laughs> a couple of houses here. I'm trying to get maybe get a couple of custom ones here. What do you mean that ah, with the points is in with the signals, Dan? If you've got a way, that'd be brilliant. You might have to talk with Callum on that. Call it diesel, yeah. <laughs> Diesel's in. Mark's dog's on here. Go up here. It's actually it's on. Where did I put it? I put it in somewhere. Where did I put it? Put it. I'm sure I put it on there. Hmm. I don't know where I put it. It, it is up. I know where I put it. I'll see it in a bit, it's in Blackpool. Uh, so we're at, this is Russell, let's let the load back in. Yeah, the dog sis was the uh, the board one. So you've got an idea to make him work from the cab, that'd be good. You'd have to uh, I don't know if you'd have to talk to Callum to make it work with the track of some sort. However you could do it, that'd be good. So we come up to Fortin Gate when the scenery decides to turn back up. There we go. Please note these trams aren't coming with the route, these are freeware models. We've got the proper custom buildings that go here. Little sub stations. We round into Cleveland's. Shops and stuff are missing here, it's the main main road of shops. They're still to come. Um to do. Oh, it's alright, Callum. Don't you worry about it. You don't need to do anything. I thought you might need to talk with. Uh, Dan might need to talk to you to work how points will work with the tram. Um, Dan knows what to do. <coughs> uh, so we come up to Anchor Zone Lane. Once again, there's a few shops that he's putting in here. So uh, close that up. We climb up to Little Bispam. the loop. Main platform building missing here. And then it's basically a couple of houses and bits and bobs are put in here. Norbert Castle to go in there. Got little Victorian huts that are going to come as well that have dotted along the way on here. And then just benches need putting on the on the uh, the walkway. Once again, 
a few houses to be put in, but I need a couple of uh, fancy looking houses for the front. We have Bispam platforms, once again need putting on with this. There's an arcade to go in here and a pub and some shops. Where we come along to where the custom assets will go in here for Miner's Home and the hotel, uh, hotels, apartments. And then we sort of get to where the big gap is now, so once these hotels are in this will be closed. A few shops up here. Then it, once again, main big hotels, so you've got the Hilton Hotel that will go in here. More hotels that close these blocks up. And then there's a few warehouses and houses to the left to put in this. Then again, big hotels to go down here. And the Metropole. And then it's just shops and houses to finish this up. This is all shops. When we get them, they'll be put in. The tower needs to go in. We've got the piers to come. You've got your waxworks and see last centre going here. Central pier goes here. And then we have some more big hotels that are coming around here and then some more small hotels go here. We have the shed, which is in. Track, it's a bit of a sore point, we can't do much with it because there's that many sets of points that are put in here. Um it won't render up correctly but they all work. They are linked, as I showed off earlier, so you'll be able to see back on that. I'll quickly show. All the points do work, but I can't render them up because there's about 18, 16 to 18 sets of points. No donkeys yet. Don't say never. We'll probably get some donkeys on when it's finished. Heading up towards the Pleasure Beach, we have more hotels to come in here. Um, this is all hotels, so when the buildings come, these gaps will be done. It won't take long to do at all. Uh, South Pier goes here, next to the go-kart centre. And we have the casino and Sandcastle Water Park. Um, Pleasure Beach will be done to some extent. Not every ride can be modelled, but the main stuff like the big one and um, a few other little bits and pieces just to fill up the uh, gaps. You can suggest whatever you want, Kev. You've got Blackpool South Line, that's a little extra. Prom Sea Walls are still to come. Icon, that's one to try and get a model of that. I don't know how we're going to do it, but I'll have to work with just trains on that one, see if I can persuade them maybe to make something that looks like the icon. Because it wasn't there when I was uh, researching. It weren't actually built <laughs> and finished. And then we head up to Stargate here. So, depot shed still to come. I mentioned before we are aiming on an interactive depot. If you want a build of coaster for it, Dan, go ahead. <laughs> if you want to do one. You'd have to work on However, we'll work that one out. But if you want to add a, a coaster, be my guest, mate. <laughs> um, yeah, depot shed. It's going to be an interactive shed. So, like the car line. And it has um, roller doors. So, this will have opening shutter doors that will open up when the tram is near it and all setting off. I think just trainers are doing the signs because it's all track link stuff. No, they said they were doing it. Um, we've got yeah interactive doors with that, and then there's going to be loads of clutter and stuff in here where the top pelters are already. So we'll have loads of stuff in here. It'll, it'll have a really good feel to it, hopefully, when it's done. I'm looking forward to seeing the shed. It's quite a, an interesting building, interesting shape, an interesting building. That by the way, it's only been up what six years, seven years and it's already lost its roof once. <laughs> it blew off in a storm a couple of years ago. <laughs> the loop is, this is where we, you was here the other week Dan, where we was chatting here. So the loop is there. This is where it, um, the, the building lights up at night, yeah. The gardens are all in now. This is, I've only just recently done this garden bit. And then I'm going to end up. I'm going to do this something here. No, there's new houses that being added here, so I need to put some buildings in, and then probably put the Blackpool Airport runway in here. I know there's a runway asset somewhere. I can just put them in. I might even be able to get some animated planes. I'm sure there's a plane asset in the Kuju stuff because I used it on um, Harrogate Loop. So because Kuju is enabled, because obviously just trains do use Kuju bits. 
I think it's. Oh, so no, I don't think it did enable QG. So no, it won't be. But I'll be able to do some sort of stuff there. So we'll work some out on that. But oh, well, that it's coming along really, really well. And some people might think, oh, it's not much to look at yet. But <coughs> just trains have some static planes. I don't know if they have animated ones. Maybe they do. I don't know. I'll have to have a look, see what they've got. I need to go through the list. I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, yeah, I know it's some of it looks a bit bare still, but it is coming along. I can assure you that it's been it's been steady. It's 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 definitely coming to where I want it to be now. So I'm hoping to, for the majority of it now to be finished early next year. I want it to be done next year because I don't want to take another year doing it. But, yep, I am very very happy with how it's coming so far. And hopefully Callum is as well, because <laughs> he's done most of the or all the building work so far on the assets, which is uh, done wonders. Once again, as I said before, if we didn't have Callum here, it wouldn't be like it is now. It'd be very, very basic. So, yes, it is getting there. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed it. I hope it's been an interesting stream for you. It's been very, very different from what we usually do. Like I said, we're going to do it again. I might put another one of these up in another month's time, maybe just before Christmas, um, just as an update to see how it's progressing. Hopefully, there'll be a lot more custom assets by Christmas. I'd like to think, um, so we can see where we've got with that. And um, pretty much basic than that, I can't. There's not much more I can show you at the minute. We might even have we might have some tram stuff to show next time. It just depends on the just train side of things and how they're getting on with the uh, S8. Um, but yeah. Hopefully, I'll be have I'll be able to have some scenarios. Hopefully as well next time. That's what I want is a scenario so I can have stuff running. Hopefully I have fixed that track now where it loops up wrong. I need to do this loop as well, but it's getting there. Anyone that's joining late, don't forget I've I've recorded this so you can go and watch back on this in a bit on YouTube. It's not going to be tonight. I should have it updated and uploaded possibly tomorrow or the next day or so. It'll be in the, in the next day or so. It'll get it uploaded. It'll be a big video because it's been it's been recording since half past seven. Um, do go and have a look out on my YouTube or my Twitch um, in the videos. Once again, if anyone that hasn't done so, please come and join us on Discord. Come and get involved. You can uh, get updates on new streams um, and all that. We've got Facebook. Please come and join us on there. You'll get updates also of what's to come. Um, thank you very much, everyone, um, for all the new faces as well. Thank you. It's good, good to see some new people in. Um, for the follows as well, thank you very much, much appreciated the host and the donation as well, once again Kev, much appreciated, absolute star um, I shall catch you um, it won't be tomorrow I'm not on tomorrow but I'm, what day are we on? I'm, I don't even know where we are, we're on Wednesday aren't we? so I should be on Friday so I'll hopefully see you on Friday for the for our usual antics and probably a spad <laughs> you, you are, you're a legend Kev You've been here from the start. <laughs> I appreciate it, mate. For your support. It means a lot. So, I'm going to leave you here tonight, guys. I'm going to have to head off because I've got work in the morning. Um, on the real thing. So, I will catch you about. Um, drop us a message if anyone needs out. I'll be on Discord. So, thank you very much, guys. And I will see you very, very soon. Take care and good night. <laughs>